Hello, 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 hello. How are we doing today? Welcome, welcome, chatters. Welcome. How are we today? Uh, ah, nah, uh, uh, buttons. Oh, we're starting off against a Terran. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a quick hit and then we're going to get right into game number one here. We are, um, <laughs> yo, Bruno, Bruno just subscribed. Best investment I ever made. It's an investment, that's for sure. I don't know if I'd call it the best. Uh, uh, my fucking bong needs to be cleaned. Uh, maintenance and upkeep, man. It all sucks. <laughs> Better than my Peloton stick. All right, guys. Well, I have a free seltzer that I got. So I figure I'll just might as well throw it down while we're gaming. Uh, yeah, I gotta split my workers first. Alright. Yeah. iTunes, get out of there. Actually, I don't want you mining that yet. I mean, Peloton's doing... <laughs> no, they're not. No, I can't even make a joke that they're doing fine, because they are not. Yo. Wholesome, wholesome community moment. Uh, you're not mining there. Are you enjoying it? Are you? Have you played City Skylines 2 yet? Thirty hours deep. That's it. Oh wait, this is not being mined. I'm stupid. Nice. How is it? I've heard mostly positive. Alright, so my natural's there. All right. The last game I sunk 30 hours into was... I'll be sinking 30 hours into StarCraft. Nuclear launch Oop. detected. Bruno Sachid X300. It's an unfinished game with a few embarrassing bugs. But the road tools are insane cool and will make for a decade of creativity. Ooh, I'm sold. I I enjoyed City Skylines 1 a lot. It wasn't exactly the normal type of game that I play, but uh yeah, fuck it. We'll take the gas. Well, I mean, if it's got a decade's worth of, you know, potential in it, that's pretty awesome. Found the Terran. Oh. Yeah, cause I, can't you, like, now manually tell it to, like, curve and stuff? Isn't that like a thing?
Get out of here, boy. All right, where the fuck is my third base? This will do. <laughs> I like genuinely. Oh, okay. I, I I think I understand what you mean. Oh no 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 no! I don't need. To. I need you. All right, well. Shoot, that's how he wants to play. All right, so he's going to play super defensive like that. You know, every time I see CS2, I keep thinking that people mean, like, uh, Counter-Strike 2. Now that the um, update and everything. And so I'm like, why are we talking about Counter-Strike 2? No, we're not. Oh, this build's absolutely scuffed. If I win this, I don't deserve it. <laughs> we are absolutely scuffing this. This is terrible. Well, yeah, I am, I am, I, like, I just got home from work. I am 100% not ready for a game of StarCraft. Well. That did a lot more than it ever should have. But it does tell me everything I need to know that he's going mech. Uh, I'll rip the lurkers. That actually super sucks. I'm a broke ass bitch. Now, realistically, I can't kill that Goliath with three links. There we are. We're just going to drone incredibly heavily and hope for the best for a minute here. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to hope for the best. Because realistically, I ain't got much else to do right now. Where are you there? There we are. Uh, you actually, you guys come mine in here. Just in case he scouts this. Also, I'm um, supply block, so. Uh, get speed. Come on, thank you. Alright, actually, I wonder. Can I do a this? All right, I've got a stupid idea. And by stupid, I mean it's too stupid to work.
Come on. What is CPL? CPL is Coach Pupil League. It is a league dedicated to helping people learn how to play the game. Which is great for people like me who suck at the game. Come on. Pat on. Yeah, I am a pupil. We do have coaches and we have people who are like decent at the game who know how to like help and such. I am not one of them. Like I said, guys, I have a plan that's just dumb enough to work. And if it doesn't work, I have a backup plan that's just dumb enough to maybe, maybe work. That's all I needed. Thank you. Yes, I know that's not saturated yet. It just looks like it's not working because I haven't hit that number yet that I need. Don't worry. You moving the grass interstate? Dude, I am ready for that, and yes, I will be locked and loaded. Don't you worry. If that's ever a concern, don't. Don't be concerned. It's not fun. You're right. Getting a moved by Goliath sucks. But I genuinely don't know how to hold this. So, like, I don't fucking care. I hate Mac with a passion. Never been to the aquarium. Nope. I, I fucking hate the Goliath build. I genuinely have no way of countering it. To be fair, he also got way too much done with that vulture. So, like, there was only so much I could do, but... No, that's CPL. That's fucking CPL, baby. Um... That was versus Yams. Uh, All right. Oh, Escalade's in this channel too? Ew. Disgusting. Uh. Uh. I also hate this map. I I fucking hate this map. Hey, Dan. I genuinely might... Con I'm considering throwing all four of these matches. Just because I genuinely think this map is garbage. I will not like if I if it's a map in the rotation I'm not playing on it. I hate it. No, I am out of the loop on BSL. I haven't even fucking seen past the round of 24 ASL. Bro, I am so out on StarCraft. It's not even funny. Walt and Mihu, of course. I mean, when are they not fun to watch, you know? Ugh. Oh, I just reminded I gotta pack my 
bowl anyway because my bong needs to be cleaned. I think people give foreigners too much shit. I I genuinely think um, foreigners, well, maybe not like, you know, they're so tears. I think they're a lot better than they give credit for. All right, there we are. Oh, perfect. Mystery meat needs a second, too. All right. All right. An SCSL, nice. Yeah, I've heard about there's a tournament going on where people are making a lot of money, but I have no clue what it is. Like, I, like everyone's like, oh yeah, it's uh, this big thing, and like all this stuff has happened. I'm like, I have no clue where you're watching this. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on. Like, I am so far beyond out of it currently. All right. Better start. Better starting position. Oh, okay. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. Good for Dewalt. And Dewalt's actually super good at the game. <coughs> hmm. There we are. This time I'm not using my mouse hand to drink like an idiot. Yo, Jay. <laughs> you sure about that? I like to think that I channel my inner Protoss when I play. Gateway, man. <laughs> I wonder. Um, also, what race is he? Taren. All right. Yeah, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad for what I'm about to do. I guess to be being in here is actually really annoying. Come on, boys. All forces are under attack. All right. There we are. All 
Oh, let him think. Um... Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Shop for a washer, for the love of God. Um, by the way, did the modem come? Did the um, internet stuff come? This next wave of links should do considerable amounts of damage. Why the fuck are you all still bouncing around? There's so many mineral patches here. Bye, bitch. Technically, that was an overpool speed. Because I was like, you know, I was like, uh, I should drop my pool. Uh, fuck it, yeah, I'll wait. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Hey, Fear. Bruno, catch ya. Thank you for hanging around. Thank you for the resubby and the biddies. Always appreciated, my friend. All right. <laughs> Look, look, sometimes you, you got to do what you got to do. I'm 1-1 one, one in my group right now. Lamb will be on a bit. Um, I haven't heard from... Uh, Tech will be on in a bit. So what do we got? Half an hour? All right. Let me see here. Let me... Uh, first and foremost, let me... Pat myself on the back for a great win. What the hell is... Oh, that's what that is. Oh, um, auto save today. <laughs> well, you see, it's he did his thing and he just didn't do it right. And well, I taught him a lesson. Ah, it's it was a it was an all in, and I fucking sent it. Choose file. Do we want the one that's more recent? Yeah, sometimes. Can we? We can smoke. You know what? Yes, we can. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Can we smoke it? Yes, we can. Cheers. So how's everyone doing tonight? I haven't actually, well, I started the stream and got straight into it. How's everyone doing, by the way? I do have some replays I need to take a look at here, but, you know, we got an interesting amount of time, so. Uh, let's see here. I have one replay I really want to take a look at, actually. All right. All right. Uh, uh. All right, there we are. Oh, that's right. I got to um lock that for now. I need this. This. 
delete that. Um, burr. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Uh, yeah. All right, there we are. Perfect. All right, guys, we've got a fun little replay for you here. I was told about this one and just told that it is a um, it is a game of all time. <laughs> and I mean, I can't resist as I can't resist a hook like that. Are you kidding? Like, shoot. Um, also, I got to change one thing. Uh, uh, There we are. All right, guys. It must have nukes and scouts. Well, you got the races right. That's for sure. All right. All right, here we go. Spawning here in the bottom left-hand side. With the white SCVs. Give it up for our very own Night Cat. And his opponent in the top right hand side. Hailing from Korea. Give it up for Ladder Man. Alright. So we got Gate into Core. No Zealot. Doesn't get the first scout. They are cross spawns. Night Cat going for North Scout. We got some Sim City going on here. He is ready for any sort of Korean shenanigans that you can throw at him. And oh boy, <laughs> have I heard, I have heard some, I had heard some things. All right, one on gas does signify that he's looking to just get some vultures out. You know, not going to go straight into tanks or anything if he doesn't have to. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You were say, you were say, you were say. <laughs> Let's go, Nightcat. All right, goons and range coming on up here. Nightcat gonna get last scout. Impressive. Good work. All right, yeah, three marines on the ramp. That's plenty enough. We'll get a vulture and then we'll push on down. Looks like Protoss is going to get that nice, good Nexus timing down here by 19 or 20. All right, looks like it's going to be 19. Nice. Uh, now the bunker should be good by the time the goon gets there. Vulture in the machine shop. Nice. Can we sneak the vulture out? We don't even try. We're ready for that goon so we can push it back. Oop. Oh, oh, go, SCV, go! <laughs> Man's gonna come in here and get a full scout off. Sees all, sees all the pylons, you know, he sees all the tech and all the buildings. Like, all right. That is as ideal as it gets. Mine's coming on up here. Mine's are, mine should always be your first choice if you have, if you have a choice, mine should be it. If you don't need to get siege mode first, don't. The longer you can push it off because it's expensive and it takes three years to build. Yeah, just, just avoid it if you can. Alright, we're going to come up with a robo here. Alright, we're going to need another SCV down here, my friend. Alright, reinforcing boys are on the way. All right, yeah, this should be fine. Tank will pop here in just a moment, and yeah, those goons will get pushed back. And once they're pushed back, you go out with the vulture, see what you can get done. Robo Bay, okay. Speed shuttles or reavers? Oh, we're actually gonna push this back with everything we got. Go, nice. 
He makes sure the vulture gets out. Runs past one of the goons. And the goon's just like, bye. Good luck. <laughs> All right. No speed started yet, so probably a reaver. Come on, show me the slug. Oh, never mind. Instead of showing me the slug, he's going to show me um, shuttle speed. Beautiful. We take that here. All right. Get some tanks, natural gas coming on up here. We should see a factory explosion coming on up here. You'll either go to three or five. And I mean, realistically, you always end up at five, but. All right. Mine's down. Oh, missed the shot. Oh, oh, the jukes and the jives. Really, Nightcat, you're going to watch him drop the Nexus? Hey, it's visible to you. Yo, that's Korean micro if I've ever seen it. That is some Korean micro if I've ever seen it. That was a fucking shot. <laughs> and in the background, Snow is laughing. All right, looks like he did go Reaver and Speed Shuttle. All right. Well, I mean, if you don't have... If you don't go um, Reaver, you could go, like, um, just Zealot Bombing. Just mass Speed Shuttles. I mean, I always think Reaver is better because Reaver is more fun. But you don't have to do it, per se. All right, we're going to send it into the main. There's no turret or anything here. Do you have an NG bay? He doesn't even have an NG bay? Nightcat, what is this? You gonna see this and go, yeah, I deserve this. Mm, oh! Ho, ho, ho! True. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, okay, we get a dud there. That's good. All right, meanwhile, Goon's at the front getting pulled in. Oh, oh my god. Oh. We do lose the Reaver in the end. But oh, boy. Oh, boy, did it do its job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another robo coming on up here. This could be snow. You never know. This could just be snow. Unfortunately, the game was a few months ago, so I doubt this account still exists on Seawall. But theoretically, it could be snow. Yeah. That is such a bad drink. The only reason I drank it is because it was free. All right, Citadel coming on up here. Maybe we'll switch them. We'll put some storms in our drops, or just a lot of uh, speed zealots. Yeah, the possibilities are not necessarily endless because there are only so many things you can do. Wraith coming up. We still don't have an engineering bay, dude. Dude. <laughs> All right. Scare of damage coming on up here. Getting that plus 25. Imagine your upgrade gives you a 25% increase in damage. Not even... Um, not even plus one for Lings does that. Uh, uh. All right, he's finally like, you know what? Maybe I should stop these drops from getting into my base. Well, that's a fucking stellar idea, ain't it? God, speed shuttles are good. All 
All right, Goon's coming out here to catch the Wraith. Mm. Tries to be cheeky here. Ends up taking an extra shot. All right, Templar Archives and a Stargate coming out. He's building all of the tech. He's going up to four bases. I mean, this is a lot of stuff to it. Like, this is kind of expensive, you know? Like, this this ain't free. <laughs> you can't just go all of the tax on three bases. Now, if this were AK, he would already have his third CC done and trying to land it. Abandoned ship. All right, double, um, double drop, three reaver. <laughs> Nightcap, my friend, my friend. Blunk, blunk, blunk. Ah, uh, sure, we'll fucking delete the Devo, I guess. Now look. Shuttles are only legally allowed to come from this direction. So the fact that the Protoss came from here is absolutely unfair. And honestly should be a bannable offense. Protoss doing Protoss things where you take both main bases. You just go like this. <laughs> Classic Protoss. All right. All right, it is decided that the bunker is done. We are we are now bigger and better than that. God, this base is so empty. This base not really well saturated. Uh, I don't like the look of this at all. RV's coming on up here. We got the meat. All right, scan, sees the Arbiter, sees another shuttle coming. At this point, he's got to be like, fuck. I don't get how you play Terran. Like, I don't get how you play against this and just like, yeah, this is fun. I'm going to keep playing this race. Like, and then people switch to Terran? Why? <laughs> Look at the production tab. It's not something we talk about very often, but there's a, there's a fucking command center and an SCV. Protoss is getting everything. I mean, I guess he, if he's fine with taking the worst fight in the world and still winning. I mean, this is just Protoss in a nutshell. Now, he doesn't break. He kills basically everything. He just doesn't have enough to keep pushing. Dear Lord. All right. Arby's. We got recall. Now, because what's Arby's without a bit of recall, you know? Templar Archives. We haven't gotten any Templar yet. Only on 1-1. One, one. Where's our... Oh, we got three Forge. Oh, man. He's going full Protoss Operator, guys. Triple Forge. He's not, he's not even getting armor. He's getting shields and weapons. What a Chad. What a literal Giga Chad. If you want to know how to play Protoss, like a fucking built different Giga Chad, that's how. Invisible men coming on up here. Just, I mean, yeah, this is literally, what if I get everything? Don't know what to kill your opponent with? Try everything. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's it's almost disgusting what the Protoss is doing here. All we are missing is scouts. And we'll be fine with that. Okay, so we're getting D-Web. I think that was the um I think that initially was the energy upgrade for Corsairs. We're going four Stargate. Oh, God. This is a game. Oh, my. We're going five Stargates. Mass fucking D-Matrix.
All right. All right. <laughs> all right. So why get all of the tax when you can get all of your tax and all of their tax? <laughs> there's no, you don't maelstrom anything. There's nothing to maelstrom in PVT. And there's only one other use for a dark archon, right? Yeah, Argus Jewel, 50 energy for Corsair. I was right. And, and, oh god. Now that's a thought. And cracking a. Cracking open a boy with the cold ones. Cheers. Hashtag not sponsored. All right, Terran's up to three bases. 99 problems, but a probe ain't one. There it is. You guys, you guys were worried. I know you were. I know you were worried. Oh. Trying to use my phone to monitor your YouTube chat, and it's, um, my phone's dead. Hi, YouTube chat. Hello. If you're watching this um, as a VOD, hi, VOD viewers. If I upload this as a YouTube video, hi, YouTube watchers that didn't watch it live but are watching it on YouTube still. That's Twitch chat, <laughs> if you were curious. All right, so what is... Where the fuck did all the Corsairs go? He can't... He had them. He had more than three, right? No, I guess he he had three on the tablet. I guess I haven't seen any since. Observer speed. Yeah, we're literally getting every upgrade. This is disgusting. When you hear, like... Yes. No, he now has Sarah energy. I would like to specify. But, like, when, uh, pro when a Terran player goes on the, like, TL forums or something... In posts about Protoss literally able to do anything. This is the game they mean. <laughs> this is the game that you see and you go, oh, Protoss could literally do anything and they'll win. And it's like, uh, yeah, he's, I, I mean, he is doing everything, I guess. Yep. Getting our upgrade for our air units, of course. Argus Talisman. When's the last time you saw Dark Archon Energy? getting upgraded go ahead I'll wait all right and fastest maps don't count wait he's got two Templar archives because he's getting storm and Argus energy at the same time where's the other one I need to know now oh it's right there I'm stupid All right, since Zelda's running in here, seeing what's going on. They're not going to do much, but they give the Protoss player an idea of what's going on. Thoughts and chaos. That's actually the only voice line I know from the Dark Archon. All right. 192 out of 200. He's fishing for that 400 out of 400. Let's see. There is no base here. And there is a wall of turrets here. Deweb this turret and then come on in. Oh no, 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 no. My God! Forget everything else that just happened. That was smooth. Holy shit! Oh my God, that's a smooth operator right there. He's a smooth operator. God, signs would be jealous of how smooth this operator is. And by smooth, I mean, as a Protoss operator, his brain 
It is so smooth. That's what we just witnessed here. Oh, we're getting it, folks. Recalled sieged tanks. You can smell it. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? This is going to be glorious. I'm excited. All right. Taren's up to four bases. That's good. Good for him. I'm proud. Protoss is up to one, two, three, four. I'll give that a total of a half a base. Four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, or six. Yeah, six and a half, seven and a half bases. That's it. Okay, it's casual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is what you see on a fastest map where you get infinite resources, basically. And, um, yeah, if you've never played Fastest, um, basically it's like your main building is stacked right on basically infinite minerals with gases as close as they can be, just stacked. And if you if you know how to macro in the slightest, you're maxed out in like six minutes, seven minutes. It's actually the hardest map to play for Zerg. Like, Zerg actually has the hardest time on it. Oh, where we're going, we don't need gateways because we're building tanks. He's literally killing gateways because Terran units are better. Take that, fucking Protoss. Oh, Protoss is the strongest race. Bro, he's literally killing his buildings so he can build Terran units because they're better. Like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, eh, about that. He's genuinely ready for the scouts, too. That's the worst part. Oh, we got depots coming. Depot Dave and Depot um, Danny going to work over here. Pick, pick your Korean Protoss player. Mass scouts, mass reavers, recalling sieged tanks. <laughs> Choose your fighter. This is this is cursed content, and I'm here for it. I am so glad I got this replay. Are you kidding? Oh yes. Yo, you're Rob. How you doing? You show up the one time it's not CPL related. This is a replay Nightcat sent against a Korean um, Protoss player on the ladder. And yes, yes, you are seeing what you think you're seeing. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. He, he could just scan this at any point. Hey, look, he's building fucking factories. That's weird. Oh. Um. Sorry, my phone's being stupid. All right, he's going to try and break the bottom right. I mean, there is not a lot here. No, I I actually cannot get rid of the preseason part, so it just kind of has to live there. No, okay, I do believe this has happened in CPL before, and I do believe that this will happen again in CPL at some point. But this game specifically is not CPL. Oh, by the way, yeah, we got D-Web. We got energy upgrade for the stairs, like. Oh, yeah. This is, this is incredible. All right, with a handful of goons and a lot of D-Web, we'll end up crushing this. Who would have thought? Oh, my Lord. Zealots are tanks. We don't need... They don't need to be more tanky. Mines in Siege Mode on the Production tab with Kyderan Amulet for the same player. <laughs> ah. Well, yeah, of course goons are boring. That's why he got rid of them. He got rid of all the gateways, too. He then proceeded to rebuild... 
Well, no, okay, this has a spot here. I was going to say, even Koreans aren't immune from dumb building placements, but no. No, his Korean brain is strong, and I think a goon will pop here if he builds one there. Yeah, cause I, I think he gets, like, that extra range just when it's searching for a spot to drop a unit. All right. Terran, set up. 216 out of 242. I, I hope he maxes out. I want to see 400 out of 400. I do. And if anyone tells you they don't, they're lying to you. You want to see 400 out of 400. I want to see 400 out of 400. Science facility. What's he need the science facility for? Oh, we're building STVs to help the cause of mining minerals. Getting our upgrades. He needs to take this base as like a Terran base. You build a command center, you get some depots up, you put some tanks here or something. Oh, okay, yeah. This is this this does not disappoint. Alright, sixteen thousand minerals, ten thousand gas banked up. Honestly, instead of depots, build command centers and lift them. It's not cost efficient, but do you care? <laughs> And then they don't take up building space. Mm. Trust me, guys. I've got the Terran mindset. Or I guess the Protoss mindset. Alright, Depot's coming on up here. Alright. He might need to deploy the tanks soon. Goliath range and <laughs> vulture speed. I would. I would 100% do that. I think that is just genuinely the better way of doing it. Oh, Marine dies. Rip the Marine. Um, yeah, he's bringing everything he's got back home. Starport floating around. Hello, shuttle. There's literally too much for this guy to, like, understand how to do it all. Corsairs die. Unfortunate. More stairs are coming, though. We got more Ser Corsairs. Let's go. God, Corsairs are so bad against Terran. Unless, of course, you have uh, D-Web. <laughs> God, this is hilarious. Nightcat's being bullied hard. All right, Terran's up at 3-2, going up to 3-3. Protoss is at 1-0, going up to 1-1. One, one. And uh, yeah, he's at 3-2-3 three, three for everything else. Well, he's only at 0-2-1 for his area, I guess, but... All right. Nightcat, okay. 214 supply versus 191. Guys, is Nightcat doing it? Is he... Is Korean Smurf getting memed on? The memer has become the meme. Is it possible, guys? Guys, is it possible? Alright, we got a lot of tanks here sieged up. I mean... It all ends when, you know, Protoss actually deploys the supply that he's used. I mean, yeah, this is a, not a full base. You kind of unfortunate, but, hey, you know, money is money, you know? All right, we have fully infiltrated this base. All right, yeah, he's setting up for a big old siege to recall, and you can feel it. And, oh, boy, am I ready for it. All right, we get down 1D Matrix. That's a, it is a move. That's for sure. I don't know how much it's going to help, but... Ah, oh, Nightcat's got a bunch of army streaming forward, too. Ah, oh, the worst part is, it's like, ah, uh, I don't hate this. I don't hate this for Nightcat. I should. I should absolutely hate this for him. But I don't. 
I guess we could probably take a look. Does he only have two machine chops? I right, know he's got three. Okay. Uh, yeah, gas is definitely his limiting factor right now, especially as he's mining out a lot of these bases. He critically needs this base. Like, critically. Oh, well. Uh, Protoss has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then a floating factory. Well, that was romantic. They killed each other. All right. Well, the main base here is worth literally nothing. It's literally only even a hundred yet. So it's, yeah, it's not worth. There's not enough to build a command center here. There's not enough gas. There's like. Build a refinery here and long distance mine the 168 gas. Like, it's it's not worth it. I mean, the natural is the big take here. 100%. This mineral only base is cool. Um, Terran is just really gas starved right now is the main issue. All right. Protoss has chosen to build nothing but arbiters and tanks. And I do mean nothing but arbiters and tanks. We're almost there, guys. Ah, out of 400, we're halfway there. We got the out of 400 part. Now, we're so close. 300 out of 400, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. You scan this. What do you do? <laughs> Curse TVT. 2-1 versus 3-3. Three, three. Like, it's not even, like, uncompetitive upgrades. Holy high Templar. All right, goons are coming in here. This is a perfect time. <laughs> not quite mass scouts, but I can dig it. And at this point, goons are actually wasted supplies. So, yeah, I understand trading them out here. Yeah, Curse TVT is TVT, but one player has Arbiters. Like, what the fuck? He's <laughs> built no Vultures. Well, hey, get all of the upgrades at this point. I, I want to see him have all of the upgrades. I better see a fucking nuke from the Protoss player. I We got a science facility somewhere. Yeah, this is like a completionist speed run. Where is the science facility? Is it underneath or something? It might be out in the map. All right. Oh! <laughs> Casually drops the biggest fucking EMP of his life. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Send it. <laughs> Recall the tank. Best game ever. True. Best game ever. <laughs> um, how do you base trade a, t a TVT? Don't base trade a Terran, but like both players are Terran. <laughs> Except one's also a Protoss. I don't know. I'm scared to find out. Alright, Arbiter's coming back to help with the defense. We can crystal a bunch of this and not deal with it. No, he doesn't. He flattens all of the production. Yep, there it is. Defensive recall. <laughs> Yo, he, he doesn't even recall from here. He recalls from his backup tanks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
guys. Is this just... Is this how God intended TVP to be played? Because I think so. The good Lord said this. This is how you play. And then created this replay. I like the idea that someone at Blizzard, when they were like coming up with how things would interact, was like, you know what would be a really cool interaction? What if you could recall siege tanks? Why do we need to be able to do that? Trust me, bro. We need to be able to do that. All right. Uh, I guess we can do it. And then they coded it in. That's what... I think that's what happened at Blizzard. Oh, recalling more tanks just to be safe. I think at this point, Nightcat is um <laughs> mentally checked out. At this point, it's literally just waiting for Nightcat to GG. We're, we're, I think we're done here. The question is, do we get anything else crazy? The answer is maybe. Just maybe. Maybe, just maybe, we get one more. <laughs> oh god I j I don't know. I uh this just keeps on giving. Like I think like oh this should be over now. No. 3-3 three, three versus 3-2. Like it, they're competitive on upgrades. They're competitive on upgrades. Uh be be GG. Oh my lord. Do <laughs> you ever wonder what hell looks like? The worst TVT? Question mark. All right, I see ads want to run. So, guys, give me a minute here. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
<laughs> All right. Oh, I don't care. Uh... All right. It looks like both my opponents are also not showing. So, uh, sure. Uh, uh, something. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and grab a CPL group to catch because my, um, my people aren't showing up but we'll have a co-caster so i mean that's cool look who finally came crawling back <laughs> <laughs> how you doing as i'm good i'm good how are you not too bad um what do we have for casting for week two I hope we get some PvZ action to so you can get some PTSD. <laughs> well, if you want to look for a group, I'll make the announcement real quick. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna look that. Uh, week one or week two? Do, what? Which one do you want? Let's do week two. We'll keep it up. Okay, week two. Let me. Look I remember last the, year they were getting all upsetty that we were casting older groups. I think this season that nobody like. I'm gonna do whatever I want because I'm above the law. <laughs> But you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna look at the casting request. Have to week two group six. Mm. Uh, week two. Yeah, it's not done mm. yet. So but soon. Did that one. There we are. Okay. Perfect. What about what about week two group forty? Have it 40. been cast yet? All right. Let's see. Group forty is da -da 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 -da. Havior, Harry, Dex, Lane, and Armada. Okay. You know what? That's a, a fucking great group, actually. Yeah. I'm down. Havior request that we should cast that one. Otherwise, All right. it's gonna be a crime. That's what he said. Well, I do like to commit crimes, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, let it, me find that real quick. It's cheaper than to go to the hotel when you end up in jail, right? True. And they fed you. And you said it was 40, right? Yeah, yeah 40. Week 2. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, that's a that's a long one. But sure. Oh, oh long. That's a three-hour group. Oh, uh, let's go. I, if you uh, let me just get some uh, something to drink while you do the setup, I can right. be there for three hours. Or we'll see. Maybe there's going to be some uh, replay with uh, the same color and not the top <laughs> versus bottom. I'll stab them. <laughs> I'll stab them all. <laughs> so I'm going to be right back in like one minute. Yep, take your time. All right, guys, we got a group. Um, who was in this group again? Forty. All right, behavior. At right, Harry. At Dex. At Lane. No, no. All right, there we are. We can give people a minute here to come scramble on in. Pre-rolls are disabled. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah, well, I guess I'm not playing the rest of my group today. Yeah, well, rip. That's what they get for not showing up. I'm back. Hey, hey. I got four drinks. I'm good nice. for 15 minutes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I have a beer. We'll figure it out as I go. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, let me find the replays here. I have way too many replays downloaded. Yeah, I know. I'm... 
This computer is kind of new, so I'm trying to make better folders about it than the last one I had, so... Yeah, as you should. It didn't extract right, but that's fine. I'm going to have to just be less organized for a minute. I'll have to fix that later. Uh, there we are. It's not going to change from the usual. No, I just... It's my back end being disorganized. Huh. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> um, apparently, Sam Bankman freed the guy who ran that cryptocurrency exchange thing that collapsed. Uh, he just got... Um, the court just said he was guilty on all charges. Get fucked, nerd. All right, lobby's up whenever you want to join. Let me guess the password. You could just hit join. For some reason, I think you're on my friends uh, list. Yeah, I think so, but because you're busy, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to just uh, get into the old ways. Because uh, I'm a hacker, man. There you go. I just... I, I cracked the password. <laughs> I'm in. Wow. You mean you <laughs> cracked my totally original, like, three-letter password that's also the same name as the game? Yeah, and uh, I know you're turning <laughs> me up from the credit card as well. Oh, man. This man's on to me. 42069. That's it. R69420. <laughs> that's the yeah, second got, guess. You got to get it in the right order. Oh, <laughs> um, man. Turn on the logo. Turn off the me. All right. You want to start the intros? Yeah, sure. So on the uh, top corner... We got one of the uh, creator of uh, Seawall GG, dot GG, Dax, the Zerg player wearing proudly the white collar. Let's go, Dax. <laughs> and on the uh, bottom right, give it up for our boys, Armada, a really nice pros player wearing the color everybody wants. Magenta. The best color. By yeah. far away. Have the best stats with that <laughs> color. It's true. All my wins come when I'm wearing magenta. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got a pylon. That's natural. Uh, guess what? Porch? Yeah. <laughs> Is he going to take Order the escalator game. route? I I'm, I'm gonna bet it's gonna be a gate. Oh, we got the nine pool for our decks. Well, overpool. Yeah, nice simple overpool. On a two player map, that should always be your go to build. Yeah, it's kind of safe. Not I think crazy. he kind of wants to go for a 12 next. On a two player map. Oh. Like, is it. Is he doing it? Oh. You, you, you gas walk. Neat. Oh, okay, he drops the forge. But he waits a long time to drop that forge. Yeah. Well, he, don't, he doesn't need that too early, but yeah, it was yeah. kind of late. That drone going down. The, oh, no. No. Drone's a murderer. Doesn't care. He's a straight up G. Kill count is reset at zero because building cannot have a kill count. Which is a shame. <laughs> Imagine Damn. if your cannons had kill counts. Uh, that's gonna be crazy. <laughs> 1800. Yo, turtles in the chat. Dad? Dad's back from getting milk? Finally? Back at pro. I don't agree with Tart of Turtle on that one. You should be. <laughs> so we're going right. to make two cannons, but we didn't confirm in Ling, so I think it may be overkill. Yeah. I I... Mean, maybe he's going to cancel one. Oh, yeah. That, this is what he did. Yeah, he just in case. There's nothing in the main. Gonna cancel one, make the gate win instead, lose a little bit of mineral, no big yeah. deal. Yeah, nicely done from Armada. Sorry, I'm uh, doubting you. <laughs> Never doubt. Doubters are in shambles. All right. Only one <laughs> set of lings out here trying to get the probe, but that probe is just made of butter. 
He's going to keep on running. Well, you took some hit, though, but yeah. You you need to grease your probe before sending, a, sending him in scouting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you grease it up. Just, so just slide on through. Oh, Third hatch coming probe. on up. Oh. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> Leave the thing for those of us who have a voice. Come on. <laughs> so Cyber is up. Well, yeah. it's starting, but it's going to be up eventually. Yeah, nice well, simple that, start. That probe going to confirm the exact timing of that. Beautiful. That wow. That's what you can hope for as a Protoss. That's what Protoss wet dreams are made of. Yeah, we dream about how the Zergling we killed and Hydra's. <laughs> uh, not nearly enough. <laughs> One of these days. We're going to have a rematch. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Got him, sure. boys. All right. The zealot so comes out here. Oh, yeah. It's just oh. so good sniping. Look he at that kills. micro machine. Tag team taps out the other Zedar. That's your turn now. Yeah, get Are in you there. Watching WWE. <laughs> Just <laughs> tags him. Get in there. This one. <laughs> this zealot grabs a chair and runs at the ling. <laughs> he's like, oh god. <laughs> exactly. This is what happened. Okay, so that ling thinks he's Hulk Hogan. He's not. Dude, nobody is Hulk Hogan except Hulk Hogan. Well, that Zealot, though, is dead. <laughs> yeah. Zealot's not Hulk Hogan, either. <laughs> no, he's not. We well, did I force out know. quite a few lings. Uh, we got five, oh, um, five sets of lings right now. Spire on the way, though. Yeah. And then no Hydra, Hydra them at the moment. Will that Zealot come from it? Oh, he's going to need to block that ram. Okay. Oh, got That's him. Around. Big hugs. Um, yeah, this wall should be linked tight once you have zealots in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah's coming on up here. Citadel. We're probably going to go for that standard 730 timing, it looks like. At least we got the Corsair in the main. Oh, a, a gate near the Nexus. I think it's the first time I see it there. It really oh, here? Put, yeah, either your Cyber or your Robo. Yeah, it's an interesting spot. Or... Um, I think he was no. trying to hide it from the Overlord. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, anyway, well... it, it's not a bad decision. It's just unusual. Yeah. Yeah, it's slinked tight on the side when the forge is on the left and the gate on the on the right. Hmm. Replying to Fuzzy Branch in the chat. Yeah. No, don't answer him. <laughs> yeah. Don't answer that guy. Alright, there's the Templar Archives. Okay, so Dex and Scourge instead of DTs. No. Oh. oh. Oh, Scourge Ooh. are gonna get this Corsair as it pops. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, Come on. Wait for Depends. it. Oh, what? No, because Kurds are too dumb. Actually and robbed. I, I just that. want, to be fair, Dexter's got robbed there. Oh, oh Muta Club. Totally agree. No, come on. That should have been a kill. And the Dark Templar is leaving the main. Dank uh, Templar have a mission. Yeah, maybe he's going to snipe a few probes though um oh, you can yeah. you can definitely get into the main nice. natural only has yeah. the one sunken oh the uh. scourge Nudas can still continue to wreck a buck okay so oh. we got one thing nice oh denied denied on both sides uh, no oh what sunken with yeah. infinite range yeah get the kill Oh, I'll bet that Dark Templar, if Dex doesn't react, gonna kill a lot of Zergling, though. True. 
if he gets there. If he wants no. to. Well, I don't hear your shit, man. I'm going to go there. No, I'm 100% with Tarp, are. man. If 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 you if a DT's here in my game and my sunken shoots at it, every time it misses. Guaranteed. Yeah. All right, we made an Archon here. That'll help push back the Lings. Deal with the Mutas, I'm, too. I'm pretty sure Dex Act Code and remove all the uphill high ground <laughs> advantage. Yeah. If anyone <laughs> could do it, it's Dex. <laughs> But yeah, that sunken placement was pretty great. And he's putting in a second one, just to make sure if yeah. Protoss try again, that last hit gonna be hit. We can stop double the DTs now. True. One sunken per DT, that's the rule of thumb. Yeah, that's a good rule of thumb. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, it's not really a fight that you want. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. All oh, right. we got a dark heart come though. Ooh, I just casted a game with a cup with one of these boys. But do you think yeah. we're gonna get mind control? Uh, I'd like to see a meal storm with the storm right next to it. Oh yeah, I mean that's the boring way of using it. True. I want to see mind control. True. But Armada is uh, honorable Protoss. Yeah. Uh, those two words don't work together in a sentence. <laughs> the honorable pro it's like saying an honorable person from French Canada. It just doesn't exist. French Canada. <laughs> yeah, I, we're, I'm going to make a petition... Or something to uh, change the name of Canada to Putina. <laughs> the only the only thing you're known for, gravy fries. <laughs> oh, bye, Mutas. Yeah. Nice. Free kills. Okay, so... We're still trying to get there from the backside. Are a bit out of position for the Protoss can be yeah this is dangerous uh, there's no yeah. storms here we gotta run uh, get home oh, no. oh, run that map okay do Come we on, have maelstrom Arca. ready well, we got storm oh, ready at least on. come on dark arkham your job. I don't Time think he got you. Maelstrom. Yeah, I don't think so. Starting to seem like he might have uh, missed that. Gonna try to get our base there, but the dragon will it be able to save it? I think so. Go, go, go! Well. Corsair is also grabbing overlords. Yeah. Zerg's got a few of them to spare, but like that's always that's always annoying. Oh, right in the middle of. Oh no! Get that one at the bottom. Flies past two overlords. Doesn't shoot at him. Oh, it's a dark templar at the top right, getting spot, but hmm. not getting killed yet. Oh, we got that okay. kid. All right, lurker eggs coming on up here. Like he's fishing, trying to see if he can make an opening for the DT. Yeah. Fortunately, doesn't look like he's actually going to get anything. Oh, Lurker at the top right. Well, middle right. Oh. Oh, oh that's oh, dangerous. Wow, that's not good, bro. Uh, and the cannon just warping. Do we have Yeah, uh, cannons aren't ready. I don't think Ooh. so. Observatory is not done yet. Do we have... Okay, yeah. We have more storm. Just... We still don't have like anything for the Dark Archon, I think. Oh, that's rough. That's yeah. rough. 
why two kids shows up in chat just to talk shit. Can he I heard this. Him? I mean, this is a shit talking stream, so I mean, like, he's kind of in the right spot. But I figured most of you us talking shit about each other. All right. Uh, why two kid was trying to say Star Trek was better than Star Wars? No, it's Stargate, Star Wars, Star Trek, in that order. <laughs> oh, Alright, gonna win one Corsair that been bruised versus a new Yeah. There you go. You got that was a spot. fight. <laughs> oh, God. The Dark Templar gonna get spot by a volley of Overlord. The Great Mikoshi. That are all ignoring it. Okay, we got two kills. Not bad. Oh. But rather, we'd rather get the zealot. Oh, that con thing gonna be hard with zealot. Uh, oh, that's targeting down the observer. Good. Yeah. Um, I don't. Oh, oh bye, he dark, dark archon. Oh, I'm not that it ever had anything to do. <laughs> God, I'm so robbed right now. After seeing a game with recalled siege tanks, like I feel absolutely robbed. <laughs> oh, uh, you you cast it? Yeah, it was a um, night cat set. It was the game he yeah. posted in PG. Yeah, you cast it like before your CPL game. Yeah, well, no, I casted it because I was gonna do um, CPL games through, and then I casted that, and then. Um, Cause I was waiting and then you hit me up because the rest of my group hadn't shown up yet and well now I'm gonna have to schedule that for Saturday or something GG is GG. called yeah it's hard when you lose your expansion then yeah it's just not in a great spot yeah, and if he you wasn't able to do enough damage yeah if you can sit back on two bases for a while and um like build up and then break out of the contain, you're fine. But being on three bases and then push back on two, it's not great. But GG's good on good on decks. Yeah, it's easy when you can uh, have access to all the replays. That's true. Uh, there you go. Uh. There we are. Updating the stream title. No problem. So week number two is the map of the week is Neo Dark Origin. For those Good that map. Just join up. So we're not gonna explain every time that we're playing on that map. It's Would you believe that we're on Neo Dark Origin again? <laughs> Dude, so two, first two and foremost, map fuck our with... um, armada. That map's so <laughs> bad. Um, let me well, see here. Well, the chat was 9,000 IQ till Y2 kids show up. <laughs> True. And it downgrade pretty fast. Alright. Let's get right into it. I have... I have to finish Lower Decks. Lower Decks is great. Uh, Strange New Worlds, though, I really enjoyed. I'm not going to say I don't love Star Trek. Like, the fact of the matter is, like, all three of those are still great. <laughs> Stargate, Star Wars, and Star Trek are all great. I just happen to like them in that order. I'm going to let you introduce the player this time. All right. Spawning in the top left-hand side with the yellow drones. Give it up for Lane. And in the bottom right, with the blue drones, give it up for Dexy. And ZVZ, so I'm a little <laughs> bit not that knowledgeable. I play a yeah, little that's bit of no different ZVZ than anything else. last season because I tried to off race with Zerg, so I know a few things, but... I just built Hydras. Trust me. Yeah, but uh, Ultras beat Mutus. That's what well, I learned. That's true, actually. Because Ultras with armor upgrades 
will just not die. Exactly. It killed Baze pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, it's just... So it's like... I mean, it's like early game where you just have a lot of lings and they have like three mutas. It's like, yeah, you're going to lose no matter what. Yeah, you have mutas and that's cool and all, but you can't kill the lings fast enough. Same thing with ultras, just they're bigger and they don't fuck around nearly as much as zerglings do. Is white 2 kid in group 40? I don't know. We're casting group 40, so if you're not in it, you're not cool. True. You're not part of the cool guys. Yeah. This is the cool kids club. No, it's a gentleman's club. Oh, he's in the group that's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got a nine-nine here, some form. Maybe similar over here. Maybe this is a little bit later than a nine-nine. Maybe I've been an overpool in the gas. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I didn't look that much. But okay, we're gonna go lair for uh, Lanis Rain, yeah, and second hatch for our Dex. So, all right, so Dex, Dex is gonna Dex. go Lynx, yeah, Lynx speed and try to kill his opponent before Nuda's pop is in, yeah, it's a, very doable. Yeah, it can do. Oh, and we're getting Lair behind that for Dex as well. Ooh, so. okay. So, having a second Hatcher is going to give him a huge Larva advantage yeah, as true. he goes into the Muta stage. Is there a reason why Yellow is putting his Ling next to his Mineral at the uh, top left? Nope. Or just Miss Rally, maybe? Maybe just over here there might have been something or he might be ready for something, but... Nothing particular I can think of that you would do. Or maybe he doesn't want to show them to his opponent and then... I'm he could be sure. hiding them. Yeah, it's always possible. Hiding Ling numbers is a huge advantage in ZVZ. Okay, uh, Tartman saying it's... Tender with that build to hide the Ling. Can you run them around scouting over? Yeah. You can get a what big advantage of our mind pool. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh, but the overlord's coming back. Dex oh. is fucking intelligent. Oh, oh, but the lings are more intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Except they're in total view. Yeah. Oh. There's four more <laughs> waiting. At the that was ground. a ghost to attempt. Okay, so. <laughs> we'll see how it goes up All right. here. Pushing up a ramp is um, always yeah, an idea sorry. you can try. Uh. But uh, against defender's that. advantage, yeah. It's not that great. Uh, I, Dex uh, has had more links here since the beginning, so I don't think there's ever really a chance for Lane to break in here, but, you know, props for uh, trying. Yeah, Spire is oh. going to be a hub before Dex Spire. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, we got the Evo Chamber. Yeah, so we're going to get some spores to help out. Yeah, Since our mutas are going to be a little late. Down. So, technically, I, what do you think? I think at this point, yellow is ahead because he have more drones, but doesn't have the second edge, though. Yeah, so, it, it, it's, yeah, I'm, he, so, Lane is definitely ahead in drones, and that's, an, a, that's a nice advantage in ZVZ, and you can see it's overall a six supply advantage. Mm -hmm. But Dex is about to have extra mutas that at a rate that Lane can't match, right? He True, has double the larva. His defense setup, so oh. Lane cannot dive in. But what did he spend his money on? Because he didn't have. He's not building it there. He's building more drones. My friend, where where's your mutas? <laughs> uh, you mean Dex? Yeah. Oh, maybe to. Uh... Replenish since he knows that with those two spore he can hold like maybe five mutas at the moment. True. Oh, he's getting got supply block as well. Yeah. So, to answer chat's question, the reason you're doing um, a hatch in base in ZVZ is because it's easier to defend. Simply put. Yeah. And exactly. you're. 
generally speaking, if your opponent's going up to their natural, you're already in a bad spot. So it's not like like it's a huge gamble to expand unless you're like miles ahead. Oh, that's a lot of scourge. Yeah, those two Muta is not gonna do a lot of work here, so. No. And the uh, Ling is getting his natural behind that, which is a good idea. Oh, yeah. we got some Scourge from Dex. Uh, oh, he got it. Nice. Uh, turn back that Overlord. Well, maybe. No, you don't. You don't throw your Scourge into Overlords. That's actually a waste. Scourge costs gas. <laughs> if you're if you're sending Scourge into Overlords, you are at a point of like a head that's just not even. It's not yeah, even it's fair. It's not even funny. <laughs> yeah, like just stop. Uh, 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 oh, grab well, a couple of mutas. That's nice. Well, one or two max for that I'm on the storage. Yeah. Huh? But I mean, cutting down those mutas is super. Like that's all Dex is trying to do right now is kill the lower the muta count, so that way he has a better chance of taking a decent fight. Well, technically it's six versus five plus courage. Mm -hmm. So I'd say at the moment Dex kind of even out. Oh, two more is on the way. So yeah, I, I think at this point Dex might be ahead. For but now, Lane is mining on two base, so if he can hold, it's gonna be good for the late game. We're gonna yeah. see how it goes there because it's. We got a lot of links though. Yeah. Plus one armor is coming for Lane, but for the mutas, but that's so far off that it's not even like it's not gonna be realistically useful anytime soon. Yeah. Okay, so mutas kill crush. some links. To help with the uh, VPS there. Yeah. We have more mutas here. We crush. Oh, it's over. And GG. Good game Dude. for Dex again. Muta math, man. It's weird. It, it stacks so quickly. Get Carapace and die. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, DBZ in a nutshell. Was good. Was a good one. Yeah. No, that was a great one. All right, dude. If you really want to play an expensive build in ZBZ, do plus one lings. Plus one takes three hours to research. It's so long. Like <laughs> it's one and a half or so times the amount that ling speed does. So you have to start it first and push back your link speed. So there's like some semblance of you get into a fight and plus one will finish eventually. It is, um, it's rough. So who's oh. next? I forgot to hit okay again. <laughs> I don't see it. Yeah. Okay, there you go. No, it plus one is a great build. It's um, we're still workshopping, still looking for you know some optimizations. But right now we've got it basically on a twelve hatch. You um twelve hatch pool gas Evo, and you get plus one with your first hundred gas. Second hundred gas goes to link speed, and then you pull off gas, and you just crank links. Nonstop. Yeah, and then you just you link flood, and the idea is that you're gonna hit as a couple mutas pop, but you should have enough links, and your links are just better. When you're ready, you can press start. Yep. <coughs> One second. There we are. All right, here we go. Oh, PvP. Oh, on the uh, top left, we got our boy, Harry, as the red Protoss. Let's go, doing, Harry. Doing a one gate into the main in PvP versus 
on the bottom right arm of the, the yellow Prolas going one gate then gas. And it's uh, gonna be this kind of same build for Harry, but a little bit behind, I'd say. Not yeah. Timing. Cyber. The, well, Cyber is about the same time, though. Yeah, he pushed off the gas a little bit, but it didn't really gain him much. But I think if he went for his... Because he has enough... Look at the money difference. Yeah, he's got that zealot money difference by pushing that off. Yep. Right. But, yeah, it's it's a mirror, believe it or not. They're actually both going zealot opening after gas, so... Zealot hey, into goon. It's safe. In PvP, you want a safety zealot. Just yeah. to make sure if your opponent going two gates or something, you have something to defend. Or Otherwise, at least something uh, to hold the ramp, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that ramp, uh, I'm not sure you can black it with only one zealot, though. No, I think you need at least a zealot probe. Oh, we're gonna Ooh, ring around, around the Rosie. <laughs> and we're gonna sit when the music stops, right? Yes. <laughs> and then the zealot pulls the pylon out from under the probe, and the probe just falls on the ground and breaks. <laughs> Man, that was nice to watch. <laughs> so, oh. Look at that. Ah, uh, what a member of Nom. What a Nom player for sure. Will it be legs or gonna be a no. 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 When was the last time you saw someone get legs when they went straight into Citadel? Pray tell. Yeah. We'll see. So, no goon range for Harry. Because it's saving gas for you know who. Yeah. Invisible bro skis. The one we cannot say the name. <laughs> the dankest. The dankest <laughs> of boys. Oh, we're getting a nexus behind that. Oh, interesting. That's a bold. Bold well. play. Oh, what's Armada doing? This is um something I've been playing with a lot recently. Is um you take the gas here in the top like in the uh, back base and then you mine out the minerals, you just go between the two, yeah. And then you just run in there with well, I would run in with links because I'm a Zerg player, but yeah, I've been this is something I've been playing with a lot recently. You, you uh, explain it to me. You take the gas. Yeah. So if you if you mine minerals and then send the okay. unit in the worker into an extractor. It'll oh. replace the minerals with gas. Okay, and so, so you, you don't need to bring like four or five probes or something. Yeah, like that. so you, you bring two drones, you take the gas, and the other one mines the mineral. It takes a lot of micro because you can't shift Q after mineral, um, after mining mm -hmm. minerals. You can after gas, but not minerals. I learned this recently. So, okay, like, cool. you have to catch them as they mine them after they finish mining the minerals to send them into the extractor. And then from the extractor, you can send them back. And then you have to manually send them back, and it takes a little bit of, um, you know, micro, but it's a um, a really fun thing. Okay, I'll keep that in mind when I'm gonna play versus you and Lee on that map. Yeah, I mean, I did it for <laughs> um, like at least two of my preseason games, and I did it once against Redmond. Oh, the did I mention I beat Redmond 3-0? <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Oh, he's going to run around the outer bridge, but he's going to get... Spotted. Around the outside. No! Ooh, no! Uh, rip. Invisible Overlord is better than Invisible Man. True. All right, a couple defensive cannons. Templar coming out up here, probably into an Archon. Don't see Storm on the docket yet. Yeah, probably Archon. Needs to drop some more gates, I'd say. All right, Reavers coming out up here for yeah, uh, Armada. Shadow. That's nice. Ooh, pylon over at the third base for Armada for Harry's third. Either a block or a proxy point. Probably a block and a scout, but you never know. Yeah, block and scout to make sure if he got the shuttle or something, he's gonna see it. 
it's a PvP. I expect... Well, I, I expect great things in the terms that I expect you all to be brain dead and throwing silly things at each other. <laughs> so. Well, you would be surprised how many things you can throw at each other that we didn't expect. So yeah, yeah. it's not going to be Archon. It's going to be uh, Storms on the way. Yeah. So nice. get ready for it. I think it's a good idea. Gonna get the DPS going. Yeah, and plus one coming here. He literally only has the two storms to hold off all of this army, though. And the four cannons. Like, he's got one goon yeah. as his army. It's a little uninspired. Or uninspiring, he's I should say. gonna be up right on time. Upgrade is done. Oh, we got the shuttle in the main, though. Well, it's yeah. getting in. What is he going to do about it? Oh, the Reaver from the beam. Oh. Oh. oh, and the goon misses. The goon misses. Are you kidding? Every time. Damn. Oh, storm your workers. Storm your workers. Oh, no. Ah! Oh. Fuck. Damn. Oh, hello. There's an invisible man killing a gateway. Oh, true. He could That's have cool. run and killed the probes instead of... Yeah, he could have done literally anything else. But he's going to get the gateway at least. Yeah. Right? True. Yeah, okay. Well, he got the gateway. Yeah. Oh, he's going to get one probe for the Fallen comrades. Yes. So the Dank Templar kills a probe and a gateway. That's a thousand DPS right there that he didn't use. <laughs> True. Or a thousand damage, I should say. It's not DPS technically, yeah. but. Damn. So, so probe reset is hard. Yeah. Oh, and we somehow we've come shuttle. into. Shuttle uh, attack. The goons are kind of in position, oh. except they're not paying attention. Oh no. Okay. Good just pull. One probes. That good. All right, pull all the probes. The goons are kind of derping around with the Templar kind of being in the way. Like it's uh, the unit placement's kind of all over the place here for our boy Harry. Arma, the uh, probes count is getting scary. Yeah, forty to thirty-one. That's that's a lead. That's yeah, a significant the... lead. Four gateways for Ari versus. Ooh. We send the DT right under an observer. Classic. Might oh, actually yeah. work though because it pulls away from the DT that made it across the map that didn't go under the observer. We got two Dark Templar at the moment. There isn't any observers at home. DT's at home. Oh, hello. What are oh, you for? Yeah. Oh, there's that an observer in the front. That gonna get him. Damn. Mind control your opponent's Dark Templar. Oh, it's probably for feedback. Realistically, it's for feedback. No, he's like. gonna mind control a probe. And get <laughs> another 200 supplies of Prurus. Is that how it works? I don't no. think that's how that works. <laughs> but it well. would be funny to, instead of uh, feedback in the uh, High Templars, you mind control them as they go to drop. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't test it, but I heard that if you mind control the shadow that have speed and you don't have speed, y y you get the upgrade for free, though. I think so. On that unit, yeah. Whoa. Go, uh, DT, go. Oh, go, DT, go. Kill the Dark Archon. Yeah, we're going to assassinate the Dark Archon just to send a message. Cannon coming up in the mineral line, but that's going to be a minute. Maybe can kill. Oh okay. my lord! No, he's just gonna massacre the probes here. Okay, right, go back and kill the cannon now. True. Do it. Bye, cannon. Kill that probe. All right. The shuttle's kind of just out chilling. He's gonna hide into his base. That's More good. DTs. Gonna send another Dark Templar. 
Dude, this man's just like, what if I keep building DTs? Yeah, uh, invisible units, good units. I don't know, it's gonna trigger the attack. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna pull that out. That DT got 10 kills, by the way. In the main. Oh, yeah, and yeah, you have a probe that he can kill easily. <laughs> nah, let right it live. Oh, 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 no, never mind. Don't let him live. I lied. You heard me. It's like, I got it. <laughs> oh, and we got the uh, shuttle reaver on the middle left. All right. Let's see. If he's there are a couple of goons it. in position with plus one. Yeah, and the shuttle is in turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the shield. Oh, by gonna probe. stop that probe. Yeah, rip. <laughs> the shuttle oh. leaving the reaver. Shuttle, like, good luck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. The shuttle. Freaking Uber drivers, the man. Man, I'm a supply block. I'm gonna leave you behind. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Uh, he wasn't spy like it was. Just me messing yeah. around. Uh, damn, that was funny. <laughs> I need to move faster. <laughs> I'm gonna drop, <laughs> drop the load. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Archon coming up here. Armada's army, all said and done, is basically like over half zealots. <laughs> Yeah, and on the other side, it's airy, mostly goons. Yeah. Um. Theoretically, That's... Storm's the great equalizer, but at the same time, oh, is a probe. it? Hello, probe. Oh, scouting the army, beautiful. So the probe, so gonna go there maybe. Shuttle round two with nothing hmm. inside. So it's scouting shuttle. Yeah. Do you think he thinks that the reaver is still in it? That would be hilarious. Maybe you thought he picked it up. And it's like. Or it's a decoy, but yeah, nothing now is moving. Could have been a decoy, but oh no, the dark the the dark temple hitting the gates again. No. Some dragoons. No. Oh, no. Our go. hero. He's dead. Rip. Rip so the boy. No observer yet for Harry. We don't need observers where we're going. Okay, it's on the way. Okay, there's one near the bridge, near his base. Ah, oh, we don't need those. A, I like the Dark Templar at the bottom of the ramp of Armor the Base. Oh. Oh, he got there. He missed that one, but. He uh, snuck in invisibly. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, that's just know. rude. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that here. Come I on, mean, this bro. is the most this is the most Protoss thing to do, actually. Come on, bro. Like, oh. don't tell me that's not Protoss to walk up, see a bunch of cannons building, drop your pylon on the base spot. You did the same thing at the top right, by the way. Nice. Mad respect. Damn. Oh, taking okay, the so bottom moving left. To army, moving the army to the fort of Armada. Yeah. They're trying to mirror their um, base taking, but... I don't know. I kind of favor Harry here. The supplies are close. But, I mean, he's got Storm. They both have Storm. Oh, I, there we go. You get the, big, the big equalizer is going to be feedback. Funny enough. Well, a good Maelstone could do a lot of damage. Oh, we stormed the Templar. Ooh, two Templars for a Storm. That's a good trade. You know what? Armada's got a bit more supply here, but I really like yeah. the way Harry's been taking this fight. Ooh, not there. Oh, there we go. We deleted a Templar. He did it, folks. <laughs> deleted. Uh, I think Harry needs to pick up that small army. 
Yeah, oh, oof, we're eating a lot of storm. And honestly, plus two is really what saved him in this fight. If he didn't have yeah. plus two, I think this might have gone a lot worse. I think you're right. Uh, we do need more army. We do need it now. Oh, we're going to kill the robo and the uh, arm of the main. Oh, that's no sick. More robo. Probe shooting at a nexus. <laughs> You know, the, um, we only look at the important things here on this channel. Ooh, a counterattack. I like yeah. that. Well, I do like the counterattack. I'm going to kill yours. <laughs> cancel Why? that Nexus, Harry. Yeah, because he can cancel his and save the money, actually. Cancel your Nexus, Harry. Nah, let him, you let it go for a bit. Because this is like free damage. This is going to keep him busy. I mean, now he's going to oh. walk past it. But Oh, cancel it now. Cancel it now. Cancel it now. Damn. Oh. You definitely should have canceled that at some point, but I you definitely let that stay have. for as long as you can. Well, there's action everywhere. Can blame him. Yeah. Me. It's not like he's not paying attention. There's just so much else happening. Yeah. So, we're... The Dark Templar is still killing things. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, and he grabs a temp, a high templar. Yeah, he killed two, minimum. Kill that. Oh my least lord, two. dude, this is oh. this ain't fair. We're gonna kill oh, the he, nexus in the bottom right. Is Zealot's gonna let the probe get the kill? Nice. He remade the robo near his natural, making the odds, but that gateway's going down. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Gonna really art the uh, army production of Armada. Yeah, this is a funky little PvP here. Oh, we're gonna kill some. Oh, oh my god! Dream. No, he's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! Let's go, Probius! Yeah! Did he just did like 1050 damage or no, there was a, before? There was a zealot for a little bit of that fight at least. But the zealot left yeah. at like 150 HP left. I'm so proud of this probe. That probe is the real battle probe. Yeah. All right. Armada's still ahead in supply, though, despite just losing a nexus for actually free. True. And that probe could kill that pylon if he wants. Yeah, get Killer more kills. Thing. Come on, do it. Tear bro. down the Killer. establishment. <laughs> Send him the message. Don't mess with the probe. Yeah. Probes are here. We're not messing around. <laughs> All right. Armada moving around the middle of the map here. He's sharking around for an angle to take. Uh, technically, Armada have more supplies than Harry. Yeah. But no more DPS like I Templar. Mm, oh. Dropping storms in the middle of each army. Storm, Ooh, the nice thing about Storm is they don't really care what side you're on. They'll kill everybody. Hide your kids, hide your wives, the Storm and everyone out here. Oh, that was a storm, storm for sure. Battle. Yeah, this is just, this is England with this kind of weather. <laughs> True. All right, and in well. the end, Harry's going to lose this spot again. And that might just be what loses him the game. Unless he comes here again and comes here to port a Harmada. Yeah, but he oh. really needs that base soon. Like, the yeah, natural is almost done. There's running low. Armada set his own battle probe down to deal with the other probe and won the fight in all of that. <laughs> Damn. With one HP. Hell yeah. Jesus. Oh, Armada sniping the oh. eye Templar. Pretty oh good. my lord, that's just disrespectful. Getting the probe as well. Yeah, this Damn. is just rude. Well. Yeah, I, I like this a lot for Armada, believe it or not.
Yeah, he's in a good spot, even though he does some infrastructure. Hmm. Yeah, this game was a uh, this was a funky one, but I think Armada just needs to be able to close it out, and it's not too far away from that. No, we got a shuttle uh, at the fort with only one High Templar. I'm gonna mm. kill like two or three probes, maybe. Just two. <laughs> Rip. Good well, try, but that's way too much to lose for that. Yeah, true. It's way too late for that. Well, like, if you kill like oh. all of the probes with two absolutely go through storms, like all right, all right, that's a that's a we're back in this kind of moment, right? But you kill two back. probes, yeah, you ain't back. <laughs> Cancels everything immediately as it's about to finish. And the timing for Armada is incredible. He's waiting for the Nexus to just about finish. And that's when he's going in to try either for the cancel or just a straight up kill if it's not canceled. Oh, the storms on the bridge. Oh, ah, bridge, Zeta. good unit. The Zeta running for the third. Oh, uh, yeah, the third is cracked. I, I think it's too much now. Yeah. What a fight though. We got we got a lot of action. Yeah, GG. Pretty good game. Great. That game. was one hell of a fight. Yeah. In the end, Armada gets to take it. GG's. Alright. I'm gonna set up the next lobby, then I'm gonna go refill my beer real quick. Because yeah. I can't I can't cast on an empty beer. Yeah, true. I agree with you. Yeah, that's the rules, you know? I don't make the rules, I just break them. Which is why I cast on two beers. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We got more StarCraft coming at you.
I'm back. Uh, all good. I'm back as well. Perfect. All right. Let me click all the buttons. Aha. I hit all the buttons. And it did all of the things that it was supposed to. All right. Let me you take a quick. the hay move? Yeah, I know, right? 1A, 2A. I'm working on my Protoss. Yeah. You just do that and everything. Do it for yourself. Sometimes you press T for storm. Why would I do that? That doesn't sound like A. Yay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take this hit and then we'll be good to go. <laughs> All right. All right. There we are. Here we go. Let's go. Your More Neo Dark now. Origin. Yeah, your turn to... Uh... Tell the players All who right. they are. All right. So, sir, I need you to understand that your name is Dex. I know amnesia is hard, but your name is Dex, all right? <laughs> you told me to tell the players who they are. I did. <laughs> exactly. All right. That's what I was expecting. So, in the top left-hand side, the orange drones give it up for Dexy. Ah, yeah, they've lost the right. Red and orange now. And on the bottom right hand side with the red probes, give it up for Harry. Why would I practice comsats when I just don't play Terran? It's so much easier on myself. Big brain. When I'm bored, I just have to keep my probes one by one. I've Seems considered useful. I considered off racing as Terran this season. Just to like try and fly buildings into people's bases and just do dumb things. And then I was like, I have to play Terran though? No. <laughs> and that was the end of my off racing plans. <laughs> I don't want to cope this season. I'm not yeah. gonna play Terran. I was I thinking as well playing Terran. It's the only race I didn't play for a CPL. And it was like, man, I tried. Two, three games on ladder, and I'm already tilt. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't want to have to post on TL. That's so much work. By the yeah. way, it's a two gate versus a um overpool. Oh, uh, okay. Weird placement for the gates, though. But okay, I get yeah, it. I see this. I've seen this a bunch with two gates. It's weird because it doesn't translate into a wall or anything. But a lot of people like doing this for some reason. Yeah, when I do like the two gates to eventually expand, kind of, I put them one next to, right next to each other, but... Yeah, build, you build that wall? Yeah, but maybe it's not that tight, so eventually you want to put the forge, so it makes it a real wall. Alright, drone comes in and scouts this, at least. Because usually That's good. when I go two gates, it's either I win or die first. So it's you're telling me like, that in a game where all you can do is win or lose, that when you do a build, you either win or lose? <laughs> Holy true. shit, guys. What <laughs> incredible breakdown. I, I hope uh, you all are understanding this idea that if you play a game, if you play StarCraft, either you win or you lose. Well, Goosh. sometimes you get a draw, but I it never happened to me yet. But I've seen it. Like... You're on stalemate and you just wait for the other player to leave because you have no army but bunch of cannon and the other are like four zealot but nothing else. Yeah, it's uh, those don't happen. I, those are fake. Those are fake news. Those don't happen. <laughs> uh, so we got like three zealots, one pro versus slings. Oh, well, like no. the probe. What's no more that? probe. Some good uh, micro nice here on the micro. zealots. Yeah, exactly what I was about to say. So uh, Dex is uh, forced to put a, a creep colony. Maybe we should try and get this process. hairy guy on our team. <laughs> seems kind of good at the game. Yeah, he seems. Nope, gonna get some free shot here. There mm. you go. Sun right. can almost up, so are we gonna... Yeah, you can't... Dex is behind. Yeah. So he's expanding, put some pressure, put the Zerg behind in worker. I mean, look at how many forged. leagues have been forced out. 
And six yeah, zealots yeah. can run over this, I'm pretty sure. Because there's a dozen lings and a sunken. I think I think a I think six zealots will win this. Uh will we get another one though? Almost. You almost got one for free. So a guy in the chat asking, uh, "What is your? What do you think about Stormgate? Will it be good?" Um, will it be good? Yes, eventually. Am I convinced that it's everything that people want it to be? No. Am I convinced that everyone will play it anyways? Kind of yes. I, I, I think it's going to have the momentum behind it, right? Well, technically, and, is that game going to be free, right? Um, I think so, yeah. I think it's straight free to play. So, technically, people will try it. Yeah, Hopefully, it, they will not do things that, like, Diablo 4 or something, drop yeah. their fan base. No, their only, um, their only monetization plan is... Um, Skins. They've said that as much. They like they've uh, outlined that their only monetization plan is skins. No, uh, what what I mean is not, like doing stuff that will just oh yeah irritate the fan base and they will just no. leave by themselves because the game is bad or no. These are the people that actually gave us the good stuff from Blizzard. Yeah, you know, Brood War, Starcraft Two, um, World uh, Warcraft Three. You know, these are the guys who actually knew what they were doing. So that's why I kind of give them a pass, but. Um, I've also been fairly critical a, of them. You're a little bit wrong on that end because once they make Brother War, they didn't expect it to be that That's true. balanced somehow and the micro yeah. that can result out of it. So Yeah, <laughs> they accidentally <laughs> made the best game and we're like, huh. Te technically, they didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> Sounds about right. But yeah. That, that's a good thing. These days, I mean, though, they do. Good, uh, that's like most of the invention were made. Uh, a yeah. little bit of error and... Oh, okay, that works. It works better than I expected, <laughs> so okay. Yeah. Whoops, accidentally Karnoff. built a game. <laughs> Alright. I don't know. I... I... Because... The thing is, if you remember... If you, if you look at StarCraft 2 when Wings of Liberty came out and StarCraft 2 now... Like, everything about it is so vastly different that it's, like, I don't really know how to, like, like, it, it, it's developed a lot, right? And so that's why I'm, like, well, everyone's, like, oh, it's going to come out and be the greatest thing ever. And it's going to replace StarCraft 2 and WarCraft 3 and all these other um, RTS sports. And it's, like, no, I don't think so. I think given a little bit of time, it's going to be an incredible game. But they are um, very slow on the development cycle, it feels like. Yeah. So, of course, we're gonna like, pop that balloon that is floating. Mm hmm. Corsairs are the yeah. worst thing to have at, um, like, zoos and parks and stuff. They just find kids and pop their balloons. <laughs> True. But it's saving to environment, so the, mm. the residue is just falling on the ground and you know where it is, so you can pick it up. True. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Here's what's left of your balloon that I just popped. <laughs> Have well, a great day. Let it fly in, in the sky. <laughs> Would have been perfect, but you know. So, True. Harry just confirming there is no expansion somewhere. He sent a set up at the uh, third location that usually is. Yeah. So it's, he he's also gonna saw the layer that. timing, I think. I think he saw it finish. Yeah, so he's gonna know it's a two base Zerg and he's startling, so we're gonna be DTs. free to do our stuff. Where it is? On the gateway? Okay. That was unfortunate. We just kind of flew the Corsairs into the pack alert or Hydras and went, ah, oh, good luck. Oh, oh Zealots. Get some kills. <coughs> zealots here to hug. Gonna get back. Gonna dance as much as we can. Dance the night away. Dark Templar, though. Invisible oh. Mando. Ooh. Will he get in before he gets into the video? Oh, go, 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 go. There is a sunken oh, here, though. Yeah. He's absolutely not gonna make it past the sunken. But the uh, Harry killed a lot of Hydras. Yeah. So that was great. Oh, he's gonna kill that drone. 
Uh, really? Go, 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 go. Oh. You see it. Come on, do it. <laughs> do the oh, thing. Corsair. Corsair gonna pop again. Oh, uh, Harry's Corsair micro has been a little sad today. Yeah, sadly. Oh, and by the way, well, when you're playing on that map, I like putting a pylon like Eric did uh, near the mineral patch at 6 o'clock. Yeah, it's a very good thing. You just, yeah. Mm. Get vision if your Zerg or any other race is going to try to backstab you. Yeah, which we will. I can guarantee you that. We will. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a cannon wall there, just to make sure. If I'll bust it. Together. I'll bust it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll open that up, just bring in a bunch of hydras and just... <laughs> you better have six cannons there, baby. We're gonna test yeah. Hawk's theory to the ex uh, farthest extent we can. Plus one's done and the armor is all for them for the Protoss. We got a uh, zero, 0 upgrade for the Zerg, but plus one range is on the way. So yeah. We're gonna mine the uh, little mineral patch. Slowly but surely with two probes. Or That's fine. The shuttle. Okay, shuttle with the Dark Templar. Zoom. Drop. Do 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 drop the dank. Yeah. Overlord's gonna fly I right towards it. Yeah, but that Dark Templar is seeing the Overlord, gonna be perfect. a decoy. Go, oh, go, perfect go, decoy. go, 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 run! Kill that Degs guy. <laughs> oh my god, send it right in the middle, send it right up the middle. Come on, come on, this is your him. opportunity. One uh, shot, one opportunity. Uh, uh. Oh, right over the drone. Oh, the reaction. Overlord speed is done. Oh, it's done? Yeah. Uh -oh. Look at him zoom in. Oh, he's gonna try to bust. Oh, he's gonna he send on the other side time. too. Yeah, oh, DT horror. gets nothing done. He missed his opportunity by like one second. Yeah, if he had sent it, like if he hadn't stopped it and sent it, that's in. And like, that's a lot of dead drones. Exactly. And the overlord were, were slow, so he could have killed a, a few before. True. Dex could react. If he had react. That's he true. The Zerg players don't react. Map, so. Yeah, I like that when we don't react. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many things to do. Do you see how many units there are here? You got a box select A move, all of this. Yeah. Hydra H -H -H. or um, Muta's coming on up here. Those aren't Hydras. Yeah. I like That's it. I mean, it's a lot of high Templars for the picking. Maybe a little bit too much Mutas, but. Well, you need idea. at least nine of those to one shot a high Templar. Oh, it's nine? Yeah, because they do nine damage each. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So we pick it up. Oh, God. Oh, that's Ooh. exactly what you wanted to do. Ooh. Yeah, now we just send in the mutas to help take the fight. Target down yeah. the goons first, and yeah. It's Kill the Zeta since they can attack. The Pop air. the observer. Oh. And that's Dex is looking good. good. Dex. Yeah. And the goons are really bad versus Zerging, even though they uh, oh, yeah. are not cracking, they're still bad versus I mean, it. They do goons have are just, damage. Goons are bad against everything that's not lurkers. Well, they're good versus other goons. Well, I mean, <laughs> for Zerg. Yeah. Uh, will we be able to save that base? Yeah, Dex yeah. is a beast. To be honest. Should be able to save it, but like you're gonna, it's gonna be expensive. It's really well, even then, reinforcement streaming in. Ooh, that base is toast. Yeah, this is done. Oh, Alright, now we're gonna send it in for the workers. Oh, there's no defense at all. 
Look at that. Nope. It's a Buford for the... Just uh, hold position here and call it a day. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's gonna micro damn me. Aww. It's like, I'm gonna kill them all. And not lose a single mutus. Yeah, this oh, is, God. um... This is rough. And suddenly it's equal workers. <laughs> oh, damn. Protoss really? trying to take the bottom left. Yeah, uh -huh. saw that. Damn. Equal worker. I didn't expect that after that damage. Yeah, Protoss had quite a few workers, but... Dex says, <laughs> you can have all the workers you want. I'm going to kill them. Oh, Dex's going to... He's spotting the uh, base that yep. we tried to take. But... Yeah, and that's just absolutely toasted. I, I think he can kill the cannon. Without yeah, he's just rest. got too much here. Uh, we, we lose a couple of mutas, but it's fine. We got a lurker contained going on up here. GG. Dex wants to make sure he kills everything before he goes. GG's. All right, there we go. We're almost into the Terran section. That's where yeah. it gets painful. True. At, at least I think there's no PVP in that group. No, this is all TVP and TVZ. So this is where all the length of the group is going to be. Is uh, it's coming up soon when we just hit the Terran. <laughs> Good old Havier. Does Havier play for a team? Do you know? I don't think he does. Oh, Esk died. Oh, well. Not much of a loss. Your phone is dead? No, I said you died. No, I'm still here. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, alright. Had to talk with the boss. <laughs> I'm right here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my boss. <laughs> you want to bet? <laughs> you go to work tomorrow? It's just me? Hey, I got hired as your boss. <laughs> well, the other boss in the house. You come home? You're like, oh, hey, my wife. And you turn, and turn around, it's me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, damn. I'm got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> you move into your own apartment. It's me, your landlord. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's never ending. Nope. Okay, All so right. probably uh, fixing the lag or something since, like, yeah. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure because the Harry is living near Korea or something. He lives in communist China. Or something. <laughs> True. All right, you're up. Okay, so uh, let's go with the uh, top try, top left corner. We got the boy, Harry, Protoss player with the uh, hacky collar. So something like that. And bottom right, we got Lane Lane, Lane Spain with the yeah, the orange. He's already trying to chase a uh, staff probe and the zealot getting on the third location of our yeah. orange player. Sec second zealot coming on in here. Yeah. So, yeah, gate expand. <coughs> Pretty good for area. Yeah, yeah and then home. you just park these zealots here. They will live here. Forever. Yeah. Oh, and the Ling accept that fate, so they just leave and uh, hope there's nothing at home. Uh, that ter there's a lot of Ling going there, though. Yeah, there will be stuff at home, though. There will be two Zealots with a third one on the way. 
So I won't be able to get in. Cannon will come oh. up here before too much longer. We're building lanes on me at this point. Oh, Zelda's come back out to cause an issue. No, Zelda's gonna kill that edge for free, I believe. Yeah, this is where you're testing each other's multitasking, right? Yeah. Lane is really trying to kill the gateway and push on the front. Harry's playing oh. both sides of the fight, but we do so kill the gateway. Oh, no. Will we hold that? We didn't try to rebuild the gateway left. either. That's not good. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we do, the... but. Uh, the but once again, we killed the um, Nexus on the other side. So well, as long as we don't hatchery. lose too many, or yeah, the hatchery, sorry. As long as we don't lose too many workers here, we are fine, actually. Uh, yeah, because lane is kind of all in. No more drone been made. Yeah, this is it's just a speed link all in. Well, we With made a, a pipe, uh, cannon into the main to make sure if we lose the natural, we're still in. Yep. Oh, God. Very smart. Those two zealots are the two remaining. Go. I I'm think we're gonna lose our natural. Yeah, I think the natural is toasted. Yeah, this is an absolutely all in from Zerg. This is just a this is a speed link flood. We yeah, do have a cannon up, a second cannon coming though, and a gateway. And we even made a sun can do the main uh lane. Yeah. Ready for those potential counterattack zealots. Yeah, it could be. Oh, so we sacrificed one eighth of our economy to build a hydro den. <laughs> Damn. Hey, we're trying to make drones now. Okay, so we got two cannons, two gates in the main. Oh, we're gonna maybe lose that overlord. Oh, maybe not. Got All only right. one zealot. Yeah, now Zerg is in a gorgeous position. You can try and end it here. I don't think I would. I think you're just going to drone up from here. Really your best option. Alright. The links can just sit here and cause an issue, basically. Yeah, they'll just chill. Cybercore's coming out. Look at the little Sim City that's been going on here, thanks to all this. All right, it looks like Escalade <laughs> talking to the boss again. Yeah, I'm there. I'm gonna right. take a like five minute break for a little bit. I'm gonna get back. Be right back. All right, go right ahead. All right, guys, finally, now it's a good cast because it's just me. All right. Robo coming on up here on the back of this. Zealots are going to try and come out here and bait the lings in. If they can bait them into the cannon, then you're in a good spot. But otherwise, you really can't take this fight just yet. Ugh. That's so many lings still. But nope. Lane is paying attention. Not letting him get baited into the cannons. Forge coming back up. And we're starting to hit a healthier drone count. Now the hydras will start pumping. Probably end up retaking the third here before too much longer. And yeah, we've kind of spent all of our lings in the main. Robo Bay. Nice. Who doesn't love a good Robo Bay? All right. All right. So Reaver versus Hydra Ling. Yeah, it's um, that's a um, not a bad idea. All right. All right, probe goes in, scouts, see what's going on. Zelda's like, Meh, nah, I'm good. Let's go home. Overlord getting shot at by the goons. Get it. Got it. 
All right. Waiting for the double reaver to come out. That's what we're waiting for. All right, chasing him back here. There's a lot of Zerg. Once again, Harry's on the back foot. All right. There's the Reaver, though. Blonk. Let's take the Reaver. Oh, nice pickup. Yeah, a little bit of micro here. Microman. Oh. We have Microman Randy Savage here. Oh, Ooh. that's a shot. Dude, Cry Me a Reaver was a great team name. <clears throat> I still think I still think um Notorious SCVs was the best one from last season. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. No. Well, cause like ours was great, Jinjin and the Pandora Patrol, but it was literally just like our team captains. And so, um, yeah, I I have to give them. I have to give it to the notorious SCVs, through and through. All right. Oh. I like this. Splitting off a little bit of Hydra down to the bottom. Battle drone ready. We got two Reaver. Oh. Oh. Killed the Reaver, but. <laughs> At the cost of everything. Yeah, true. And that one's gonna crawl and kill those three other. Oh, Almost. splash. Yeah, one zealot can kill those two hydra pretty easily. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright. Still rallied across the map. Lots of drones just casually walking across. Lair coming on up here along with an Evo chamber. I like that we have battle drawn into our army. Oh, yeah. This is where he clicks and he goes, oh, whoopsies. Ah, uh, damn. Triggered the warning. Oh, we're going to mine them to the back. Oh, I like this. This is like a great way to get a base. It's the only way he's going to expand for a while here. Yeah, and if it goes unscouted, it's going to be huge. Yeah, Spire's coming on up. All right. Zealot runs in here, seeing if it can get a drone. Yeah. Nope. Look at that micro. Look at that. Get wrecked, right, Protoss. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, so we're going to expand the our natural and double expand with that. Yeah. Sure this is the plan. Or it's a bait, and he's not actually going to expand here in the natural. You think so? I don't think so. Uh, could be either way. The cannon before, and then going to be safe. All right. Plus one, thinking away. Zerg droning up heavily, along with getting more hydras. <coughs> yeah, Zerg is back on the worker. He yeah. was so behind. See, Zerg can die. He cannot die. Yeah, and um, what's nice here for Zerg is that he's also got the Spire done, so we will see Mutas. And I mean, Mutas are a great way to one shut down shuttles flying around the map, and two just. Flying in and killing everything because there's nothing here to stop that. True. All right, so he does drop the natural here. Yeah, we're gonna see probably uh, T uh, Ninja Base pretty soon. Put the pylon there to make to be ready. To do it. Yeah. I like that, we just send that. Zealot in and out just to keep him busy. Going on. You pop in, you check drone oh, count, you see what's going on. Mutas will be revealed by the um, zealots here. Oh, they're sending it. There's actually not a lot on the ground to stop them. 
when the hydras are falling quickly. Yeah. So we and so we can just dive the drones. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I think we dealt some damage. But we're gonna get cleaned up pretty fast. Yeah, this isn't meant to actually do a lot, for sure. But he buys time. He now has his natural up. He's got Corsairs coming. Yeah. I'd love to see him get plus one for the Sairs. You always like the plus one. No, you should always. Get, there's no bad time for a plus one, especially when they have mutas. Well, yes and no. I mean... If you're not planning on making more than one Corsair or just a few to beat him, it's yeah, kind of a waste of money. He's dropping the second Stargate, though. <laughs> now well, he has to get it. If you're dropping the second Gateway, yeah, definitely you should. Yeah, or I once, think... yeah, it's a waste. Yeah, and Chad's pointing out, I think it's worth also mentioning, is that Harry has somewhat stabilized. Oh, oh. by escalate. <laughs> no, but Harry's kind of stabilized. It's not great. He's pretty mined out in the main. I mean, he's not the largest amount of workers. But overall, he's, like, really bringing it back. There we go. Gonna get some drone kill for free. Yep. And grab these hydras on the way out. Might as well. Can we get it? Good idea. It and run. That's how I yep. do when I hit people with my car. <laughs> <laughs> the Canadian way. <laughs> yeah, I just say sorry, then I go out. I'm like, sorry. Okay. Watch I where you going, brother. You sound like uh, Terrence and Philip. <laughs> okay, so we're we're having four Corsair at the moment. Okay, yeah. so are we gonna drop down some cannon that is? Uh, Third base. I would still like to mention that he um, isn't getting plus one still. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're damn right. Always get plus one. There's no bad time for plus one. You build more than one, Sarah. Corsa coming up. Yeah. Oh, this this muta pack. Rough. Oh, we absolutely would have killed this muta pack if we had plus one. Yeah. True. I think you're <laughs> definitely right. Someone do the math. So that would have been, what, seven extra damage per shot? The lowest mute is on, like, 14 health at the end of the fight. Yeah. So it's two okay. extra shots total. I like the uh, Corsair with the shuttle there. Yeah, good old uh, Corsair Reaver. Or your bodyguard. Uh, oh! Oh! We're in? No! Oh. No! <gasps> Alright, well, we get everything down. One way run, but we're in. Yeah. Gonna one get way ticket to hell. Oh, the army is far away. Yep. And pulling everything back to deal with these Reavers means that these um, Corsairs are absolutely just going to go to town yeah, on the Overlords. The spawning pool, but we have no more Scarabs! Scarabs! No! Oh god, what a way to lose the Protoss. Here. Absolute Protoss moto moment. What do you oh, mean I gotta build scarabs? I thought I could just aim move. Trigger-derg. <laughs> womp, womp, no, womp. No, not a good idea to throw down those cores are there. But we can't, we supply block the Zerg at the moment, so it's yeah. kind of good. <clears throat> Boop. Bye, Corsair. Three Zealots gonna run in here and see what they can do against the entire army of Zerg. Classic. Oh, another stair going down. Yeah, we need to save them. Yeah, let them get some shields. Alright, we got lurkers in the dirt. That's gonna be problematic. We don't have detection. Like at all. No observatory, no storms. Oh, and Lane is not gonna take any chance to drop like two control group of Hydras 
at his main getting ready yeah for any for any other try oh he got some hydras finding the third of yeah Harry. Harry replies with more cannons that's mm. the product way to do it sure you can know about this base but can you break it no uh, i'm not sure it's a good idea to run him no that's a um bold choice oh once again plus one would have gotten the kill yeah 25 hp left you want to see d-web we saw that earlier actually oh it, it okay. would be cool to see it again yeah um the game the night cat game that had d-web okay the, the game i didn't see yeah that's on you guys for not watching oh, well i was playing my game my cpl yeah. game and uh, i just got a message and uh, after that game i'm gonna play my other cpl game so i'm gonna leave the cast after that ah. You talk me into the cast and then you leave, so that way I don't end up playing with my group. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically, you you said you were gonna cast, so. Yeah, after my games, and then <laughs> I was like, oh, I've got a minute here, and you're like, oh, let's cast. I'm like, all right, and you're like, oh, let's do the longest group or the second longest group. <laughs> I just picked the group that was requested. I did the good thing. Blame no. the chat. No, anytime you listen to chat, it's a mistake. Yeah, like Arcane Line is talking right now, it's a mistake. Yeah. Well, I mean, anytime Arcane talks is um, always a questionable moment. All right, we're dropping a probe here. He's on a he's on a mission to take another base. Oh yeah, let's do it. Uh, Not here. Bad news. Bad yeah, news. Yeah, Zorga have every base at the moment. Yeah. Like taking them. This shuttle's in for a rude awakening. Oh, Z Zerg is getting dropped? Did he Zer research drop? Yeah, he got. No, um, he already got ventral sex. Oh, there it is. I heard the sound. I know that sound very well. I I'm just going to build air in the middle of nowhere. There we go. All right. This should do um, oh, a dozen hydras should do something. I don't know what, but something. What shuttle? Uh, shuttle survives. Shuttles are shuttles are good. Let's storm the boys. Oh, that's Sneaky a good storm. Mutas are just kind of causing issues in the main. Oh, oh. the Corsairs missed the Overlords filled with units. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, this destroy yep. there. Gonna save the problem the is the cannons are definitely pulling the fire, and <laughs> that's causing the um, hydras to be stupid. Okay, we've got the reaver with the that's five fine. HP shuttle. Yeah, but we're denying mining on like the only real like this base is at half True. health. True. It, Denying oh, mining here. Like the oh, the probes drill right through. Oh my god. If Reavers did solo, like self splash, where you kill your own units, like tanks do. Yeah. Could you imagine? All of those probes would have just died. Oof. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Oof. that song was bad, though. Not sure what was going on there. A little bit of Miss Micro. Yeah, I, I think Zerg's doing it. Zerg. I mean, Harry's put up one hell of a fight. Yeah, for all things supplies. considered. Yeah, but this is um, this is absolutely like, Dunzo. Oh, but when you get reaver shots like that, you know. A lot of overlord, but nothing in it. So just a rally. Yeah. Yeah, just a move, box select a move. Coming for the flank. Ooh, the storm Ooh, again. Storm. Nice. Gets a few hydras. But we have nothing else. Yeah, and we sandwiched his Protoss army, and that's going to be the end of that. Yeah, losing that army at this stage is bad for our Protoss. We end up killing the yeah. shuttle, too. Yeah, true. And uh, most of our army is Corsair. Which almost fly over the hydras and have a bad time. 
Oh, just move command to that up. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be hard. Huh? Well, at least we have a pro on the map. From the middle of nowhere. He's just chilling. Backup probe, just in case. <laughs> yeah. You never know when it's <laughs> gonna come handy. You never know when you're gonna be able to take this base that's filled with hydras and already <laughs> mining. Well, he, he, he tried to kill that base, so he had the probe ready, but... Yeah. So what you do is you cannon crawl it. Like, you build uh, cannons on the low ground, then you build a pylon up here, and you just cannon rush it. Mm, try to do some damage with the storm, but hurt us more than the damage, to be honest. Yeah. And we're dragging the Protoss in, into us. We got some Lurker. Uh, yeah, Lurker action's gonna, gonna be, be a problem now. here. Well, we don't even bother the splitting the Lurkers. <laughs> we're just like, ah, fuck it, yeah. Burrow. Get in the and dirt. We know you don't have that main storm, so... 2-2 two, two versus plus one. I mean, he does land the storm right on all of those lurkers, which is nice, yeah, but like, at the same time, Zerg could just uh, max a move, max yeah, a move, yeah, max yeah. a, this it one, just. He have too many drones as well, to be honest, but not yeah. that much of an issue. You anymore. set your rallies to here, like right outside the bridge, like right outside Protoss Natural, and every time you have army, you just a move it in. You got two he, lurker drop on the uh, main. That's. Oh, I'm mean, sure. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it's worker drop on the gateways. Not doing a lot of damage, but eventually. No. But it's causing problems. Yeah, exactly. And oh, I don't here we go. <laughs> Overlord's eating all the units. <laughs> Oh god, don't make that sound too often, please. <laughs> ah, yes, that's the sound of Hydralis getting in an Overlord. Yeah. That's a bit weird, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's so ventral sacks, baby. Them. They're getting in their ventral sacks. What do you want from me? I didn't do this. Blizzard did. Lots of Overlords about to get popped, though. What with the manor hatch? I that's a, yeah, that's a little out. much. We're flying the Overlord straight into the stairs, which is a, that is a play. Oh, yeah. but we lose, we kill a lot of those stairs. Yeah, he sent again, drones to mine. He genuinely wanted this base. <laughs> again, if we had plus one, we could have killed two, three Overlords. There's, um, let's see, how many Overlords is this? Uh, what is that, 11 over? Yeah, it's like 10, 11 overlords, each filled with four hydras. So that's um, 40, 40, 45 supply of army right there. Yeah. Oh, we got oh, the, storm. Uh, the hydras and the overlords. Da, 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 Just let the overlords go. <laughs> yeah, let them fly in. You've only been dropped twice already. Don't bother, like, dealing with the overlords as they come flying past you. Suspiciously. Yeah, don't park your cars in there. Damn. Yeah, GG. GG. So I'm out. I'm. I might come back depending on how long the game gonna take for my CPL game. So. This guy, fucking Canadians, man. <laughs> so maybe later, if not, have fun with the two more hour remaining. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I know you can do it. Uh, you know, I might actually switch over to playing my games real quick and then finish out the group afterwards because my group uh, is that, like waiting. <laughs> that's that could be great as well. Let so, me see what's left too. Uh, <laughs> it's just have your games, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that is like half the group's time right there too. <laughs> All yeah, right. Maybe later. Yeah, Aaron. All right, catch ya. Can't have your cake and eat it too. Fuck you, Arcane. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's such a bad joke, though. All right. Um. Looks like Lamb and Tech are playing. 
Let me see here if I can see what's what. All right. Ugh. God, these Canadians, man, they just, they keep you busy. Ugh. God, when I lean back in my chair, I'm so far down in the camera. All right, Jay. Catch you, my friend. Have a great night. Oh, I can't wait to get a new desk and a new chair. I'm going to get one of those electric ones that rises and just... And then I can just stand and cast. And then when I'm lazy, I can sit down in my nice chair and just... Well, I mean... You never know when you want to be beheaded to bed. <laughs> Look, if someone wanted to behead me and tonight, I'd be like, oh, fuck it, yeah. All right. Right here. Come on. You know? Solve some of my issues. <laughs> I made a joke to one of my good friends the other night. Oh, was it yesterday? And we were joking about, like... <laughs> Oh, like, like, we were, like, playing a video game and, like, fighting each other. And I was like, fuck you. I'm going to come up there and fight you. And he's like, please, kill me. This will solve so many of our issues if we just kill each other. And I was like, damn it, he's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's true. We'll just come over and get ripped. That actually checks out. All right. Well, uh, probably both. All right. Um, let me go ahead and figure out what we're going to do next here. All right. Uh, There we are. All right. Let me go ahead and pull up a replay. I'm just blaming Esk for all of my issues. Because that usually is true. <laughs> Dude. I mean, it does solve not all of my issues, but enough. Ask no questions. <laughs> Receive no lies. True. All right, friends. Let's go ahead and cast a little bit. All right, friends. Here we go. Spotting here in the top left-hand side with the yellow Terran pieces. Give it up for CSL's hype man, Havier. Get in the bottom right hand side with the magenta drones. Give it up for Daxi. This man did show his head earlier in chat. He has since went back into hiding as most programmers do. Um, yeah. And TVZ should be a good one. Obviously, I expect Havier to win because Havier is um, cracked. All he does is win. Oh, we're going straight up. I mean, I you can go like straight up and then over into the natural. Not a bad idea. Or he was just like, yeah, here. And, you know, you just don't think about it sometimes. Or, alternatively, Dex has seen the code. And he knows exactly the optimal path to send on your, over your overlord on. Like, down to the code. He's like, oh, well, if I send my overlord here, it changes a 1 to a 0, and that gives me, like, plus 18 on my attack. Uh, th this man knows a thing or two. All right. 
nice little 12 hatch here along with their scout. SCV Scout coming out at a similar time. Barracks coming up. All right. Workers wave at each other as they go by. Miss RNG manipulation. We are farmers. Dun, 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 dun. Hashtag not sponsored. All right. Pool gas coming down as well. All right, SCV, he lives here now. It's fine. Drone comes up, sees the hat or um, the barracks, SCV building. No gas yet, so it is going to be a marine play. <laughs> oh, comes in, sees the CC. Everything you need to see. That drone has absolutely scouted everything. And now, if you're me, right, if this is my game, right, so say I am playing here. What you do is you take this drone, you send it here, and you drop a hatchery, and you take this base. <laughs> and you really throw Terran for a loop. Interesting that he is taking his command center, but keeping his boys up here. A lot of times you'll see like the bunker star or like a depot or somewhere they can sit, you know. You put the depot here and you hide them here or whatever. Or you drop the bunker like here-ish. But he's not. He's just sitting on top of the ramp. Just vibing. He's just chill vibing. All right. Academy's coming on up here and behind all this. So you'll have his scans. Not that he needs them. The SCV is still going strong, by the way. It's going to actually see the layer finish, I think, at this rate. Nope. Oh, my God. He was one second away from seeing the layer finish. Bruh. <laughs> Absolute bruh. All right. Layers come, or, um, spire's coming on up here. All right. And there's the bunker. I right, get some medics. Yeah, this is all looking good. Probably get stim, move out here, keep the Zerg honest. Try and contest the mutas on the map. You know, standard SK Terran things. Although, generally speaking, when Havier plays, he... I see him throw in tanks a lot instead of playing SK. Instead of going straight into vessels and stuff, he'll throw in, like, you know, a couple of tanks before vessel production. All right. Dax paying close attention immediately pulls the links back the moment they're shot. All right. There's the NG bay. You're going to need that for turrets. And there we are. There's the two Sunkins. That'll keep Zerg honest. Those Lings really can't do much here. And the, moment the, the moment the Marines decide to shoot, <laughs> doesn't go great. Oh, this is a bold choice. We're stimming in. Oh, yeah, we're not getting it. We're splitting our damage between both Sunkins. And we probably could have killed both of these if we targeted one. All Marines target this one. And then they all target this one. Sunken cost fallacy. Boo. Boo this man. Boo. <laughs> All right. Turret's coming on up here. And somewhere around production. The muta clump has started. Gonna need more turrets here, bud. Like, yeah, maybe some here or something. Maybe some here. I don't know. Any more than just the one? Yeah, because um, Dex is gonna go straight for the main, and there's only the one turret here. Uh, 
Um, yeah. That's nice. Come in here, grab a few SCVs for free. Do a lot of damage to the other mer um, SCVs. So that's a nice little thing. And suddenly, Havier's like, you know what? Might be a great idea. What if I build turrets? That seems smart. Yeah, no shit. Alright, Hydroden and Hive are coming on up here. Work account, even. Behavior, just barely ahead in supply. And I mean, you lose the first clump of Marines. You lose some workers. Second clump of Marines is going to get ready to move out here. That's a formidable clump, but we do have enough mutas here to try and whittle it down. All right. Are we going to get Hydra? Are we going to get some lurkers here? What is the plan? I'm surprised he's not at all trying to whittle down the Marines. They're going to grab the Micro Lord. No. I need that for my Micro. Mm, missed the shot. Rip. All right. All right. We're losing mutas every swipe. But is it enough? Is it enough? Is it enough? I think it might be. Battered and bruised, but not dead. Dex holds on. Mm, Zerg strength. Yeah, this is, um, it suddenly Havier's basically dead. <laughs> if Dex had any army here, it would be over. Instead, he's going to go Greater Spire. Because why not? Why not? Why not go Greater Spire, right? Like, fuck it. Cr uh, fucking Mad Zerg. Two base, lots of sunken, straight into Guardians. Why even bother getting the friggin' um the friggin' hydrodyne at this point? Alright, scan sees the greater spire coming. You probably double click that one wait, what? <laughs> huh? Alright, Havior you're gonna throw go ahead and hit his head into the wall again. All right, this time we are getting hydras. Oop, there they are. Does not see the guardians yet. I mean, you know they're coming. He's going to push into these and then immediately GG. That's my prediction. Or the guardians are going to push into him. He's going to immediately leave. Hydra Guardian, guys, at 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Because this is what you needed. Am I wrong? Oh, poor Havior. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if you're going to do something silly, this map is kind of good for it. Well, I don't know what you do here, Havior, but... Oh, race. Sure. Um, unfortunately, race kind of lose to Hydras. Now, like... What do you do here? Yeah, GG. GG. Indeed. All right. All right. Well, guys, it's time to win. What a timing. What a mind. True and true.
Mm. All right, guys. We got games coming. We got tech and we got lamb. This is going to be a fucking knob fight. Uh, waiting for either of them to respond. Knob wars. <laughs> knob wars are something else entirely. What you meant was knob wars. And yeah, those are coming up. Uh Oh, I should probably set myself as available. When people are probably going to DM me, I should, uh... <laughs> You're in the wrong... No, 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 no. You're in the right place. <laughs> uh, yeah. Eh. Not me. Uh. <laughs> All right, let me pack a bowl real quick here while we get ready. Uh, I mean, I can't be playing as Zerg Weed Lord and not be smoking weed. I I, I feel like that's just frowned upon. Do you ever bake? Uh yeah. I actually really enjoy baking. Uh, baking. <laughs> no, but I actually, um, I grew up baking with my grandma. Uh, my grandma taught me how to bake. Something I was always, like, pretty good at. Dude. I actually have not um, done infused cooking. That is something I've never done is baking with like um, weed butter. Dude, yeah, no, you get butter, then you smother it on your pancakes. No, my my dad is a uh, my dad cooks and bakes and does all that stuff with infused. Although now that I have a room, now that I will have a roommate again here, it might be worth getting back into like cooking and baking. The reason I got out of it is because I don't want to cook and bake for myself, you know? It's just like, I don't eat enough. All right, guys. <coughs> Here we go. Spawning here in the lower right-hand side with the magenta drones. Give it up for Zerg Weed Lord, number 420. I'm spawning either down here or up here with the yellow probes. Give it up for Lamb. Oh, don't worry about them. The learning is a process, my friend. And sometimes that learning process involves sacrifices. It's best not to think about that. Uh, 
Uh, what do I want to do? Fuck it, I'm feeling greedy. I hate this spawn position. I, I genuinely think this map is bad. Like, this, where you have like one, two, three, it's so bad. Like, I, I, I think I'm going to avoid playing this all season. And if someone picks it, I'll literally just give them the walkover before I play it. Oh, yeah. We got CPL games to win, baby. Yeah, it is. I, I hate this map with a passion. I think this map is bad. I think that everything about this map is not good. The spawns are terrible. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, and I guess what my group is. It's fucking, like, mostly Protoss. Guess what I am? <laughs> Zerg. Uh, actually, I don't want... I'm going to play really greedy here. And first of all, I'm going to make sure that that's not being a cannon rush. Oh. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> the high cluster is unrequired more minerals. Oh. Alright, that's all he's got that I'm fine. Our forces are under attack. Ah no! You weren't supposed to find him! Our forces are under attack. Oh shit, that's three. Nope, that's a nope. That's a big old fucking nope. Oh, it's a two gate all in. Got it. Ah, this this base is dead anyways. I'm sorry guys, this is, I'm not being the most engaging with chat, but holy shit. Are we holding? Is he here? Yeah, he is. Oh, it's a center gate. It's a 9-9. Nine -nine. All right. Oh, 
Uh, hello. I tell you to kill the pylon. Kill the fucking pylon. <sighs> All right. Two more lings here. Or two more sets. There we are, that's good enough. Alright. Now we drop that. Uh. <sighs> okay. Okay, we held. I'm taking one of you off gas for now. Well, he's going to go for four gate, which actually means I should get a lair and lurkers. I mean, yeah, I'm not worried about it. He's not going to get anything done. Yeah. Remember to re hot key my hatcheries. Did he repower this yet? I s uh, you bitch, you thought, bitch, you thought. Laziest fucking Corsair ever. That's fine. He can't kill anything in there. Oh, that's a lot of zealots. <laughs> Nerds. Our forces are under attack. That's fine. Go ahead and drop it. Forces are under attack. 
Holy shit, Corsairs, just don't die. Not enough. I can absolutely tell you that for free. Oh no, I'm a hundred percent a Zerg player. Oh man. I do need that. I need another one. Oh my god. Ugh. <sighs> Hello, get to work. God, being supply blocked hurts. I mean, yeah, as is my history. Ah, you did get plus one. Sounds about right. Yeah, Lamb is doing it to me. I was trying. Find me a non player with honor. Oh, I meant that to be. Our forces are under attack. Actually, to be fair, drops wouldn't be the worst idea. Uh, neither would speed at this point. Oh my god. That's fine. You, d you served your purpose. Yep, I know. Come on, please tell me you're just AFKing him there. Please? Yeah, like that. Thank you. Yeah, of course he does. I mean, why wouldn't he have plus one? He, he's a smart player. He understands that you need plus one. Bro. Figure it out, drone. Yeah, the only thing stopping me is um, 
Yeah, the only thing stopping him is the fact that he hasn't, like, tried to kill me. All right. Oh yeah, just drop all of the overlords. Yeah, fuck it. I need to know if those gates are powered. They are not. Let me see if I can just let me poke the dead and see what he's got. All right, he's just gonna let me kill it. That's always nice. All right, there we are. Bro, I don't, I don't believe in camera hotkeys. There we are. Dude, if I had pillage, that'd be so nice. And then I'd have money. Ah, yeah. All right. I definitely have enough to go bust that. Oh, that's not great. Really? You're going to store my worker's lamp? Fuck you. <laughs> that's just downright rude. You're going to lose the fight because you stormed all my workers? Fucking incredible. Oh my god. And we're killing this base. I actually need a lot more minerals than I do gas right now. Oh yeah, it ain't over until it's over, baby. Oh. I did just clear all the stairs. It is actually like the reasonable time to drop. And he's probably a bit supply blocked from losing all the pylons. All right. That's so many zealots. Under 
That's fine. You can spot it all you want. What are you going to do to stop it, broski? Come on. Let the let him through, damn it. Brothers, it ain't over until it's over. Oh, shit. Storm was on that side. <laughs> Brother. Remember, it ain't over until it's over. All right, well, that did uh, plenty. Yeah, so you're just going to scout around, check for stuff. Um, yeah, we did. We killed a bunch of his um, stuff. This this killed um, the base down here. You're kidding? Don't, don't mock those boys. They earned their shit. Actually, since he's playing so gateway heavy now, I can uh, I can start getting vis map vision. And you go clear those gateways up. Actually, I'm kind of tired of looking at them. All right, guys, are we still in this? Guys, I think we're still in this. What's the matter, McFly? Chicken? Whoa, Battle Drone didn't care. I need more drones. I need a lot more drones. I don't really know where to put my fucking hatches on this map. Like, I genuinely have no idea. Oh, Chat Starland. You can have my autograph there. Chat Starland 2023, Chicago, baby. One one versus two three, yeah. All forces are under attack. All forces are under attack. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, holy shit. <coughs> oh.
Oh. <laughs> All right, let me see if Tech's around. Uh, uh, tech, you good? Oh, dude, I was just like, come on, get the fuck in there. Come on, go, go, go. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, 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 thank you. That was a moment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling him that you guys didn't believe, but oh boy, I did. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well I think Tech went to bed. Yeah. I... Right, click, 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 click. Yeah! <laughs> and nothing matters after that point. Holy shit! Holy shit! I want you to. Yeah, watch. Yeah! 30 kills. Alright? You see that? 30 fucking kills. Oh, and the other uh -huh. one had 10. So, like, yeah, that's like 40-something kills right here. I mean, all right, even if you count that they killed a couple of zealots, maybe. Those lings, yeah, these lings were right here. You see these guys. They come in at the right time for the lurkers to finish. And I was like, I could fight this. I could fight this. Or, or, or. Yeah. <laughs> 40 kills. <laughs> Lamb, GG's, holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, give me a minute here. I'm going to take a quick break. I need to breathe. And then we'll get back to casting, so don't go anywhere.
Well, guys, I got good news and bad news. And the good news is Tech showed up, so we're going to play another PVZ. And the bad news is that means we're not going to cast for a moment here. Oh, we're going to go from one fucking banger PVZ to the next. But that doesn't mean I need to re-high. What I look forward to the most about this VOD is that uh, Dada's been trying to put chapters in to like, oh, you can jump to like these games and stuff. He's going to upload this VOD and it's going to be like, <laughs> game, game. Big distraction, game, game, <laughs> play the game, <laughs> game, play the game, game. <laughs> this is going to be a mess of a VOD, and I'm here for it. All right, guys, can I do it one more time? I don't know, tech's kind of strong. Tech actually kind of concerns me. Like, man's good at the game. All right, We're spawning here in the lower left-hand side with the magenta drones. Give it up for everyone's favorite weed lord, Aaron. And hopefully up here, but if not up here, then over here. Give it up for our purple. This is why we host top first bottom. This is exactly why we host top first bottom. That's going to be your boy, Tech. Yo, Floyd, how you doing? Ugh. From one absolutely fucking <laughs> painful game to what will probably be another one. It's it's no worse than the time I played BR House and we played two 40-minute back-to-back games. And had to go into game three. Now that was a... <coughs> that was pain. That was actually painful. Have you ever you guys ever done that? Play a best of three, end up in a um, two 40 minute games back to back. He's like, fuck. All right, Tech is not above two gating me, but if he does it, I'll. I think he's gonna do it at home. Yeah, if Tech two gates, he's gonna be at home. Oh yeah, we did. Um, I went. I went over pool or nine pool and he went two gate and I saw it and I hid my lings. And so when he ran out to um, attack me, I ran in and killed all of his workers. And um, I absolutely won game three in like 10 minutes. That was it. Yeah. The, game three was a very short game <laughs> compared to the rest. Oh, nope, there he is. Oh, he went forge first. Sweet. Which does mean I am going to send a drone up here, actually. Our forces are under attack. I'm actually going to bring that one back because he just saw it. Trust me, we're playing some mind games here. We are floating a little bit of money, but it's all part of the plan. It is genuinely all part of the plan. Dude, I've been having the Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack stuck in my head all day. 
Which is fine, because it's actually an incredible soundtrack. But also, like, all I can hear is, like, Jack's Lament in my head. I don't believe what's happened to me. I don't believe yeah, I like I said, I've had this stuck in my head all day. Our forces are under attack. Damn right. All right, so he's not cheesing. He's not too gating or anything. Uh, we'll put another overlord over here. I actually do want to bring some of these guys out here. Second set of lings, just in case he does an early zealot move out. I'll throw up a Sim City hatch. There we are. <coughs> there we are. See, we know we got some plans. TR fourteen. Ooh, it's unfortunate. Plus one. Okay, so he's going to go for a standard timing attack. I do want this backup sunken, though. Jack the Pumpkin King. All right, guys. I don't know. Do we believe in this one more than we did last one? The last one was um pretty tight. There we are. I uh, actually do want to get Burrow. God, I just fucking face first into supply block after supply block. Don't worry, that's a surprise tool that'll help us later. Oh, that's a lot of zealots. Oh my god, just stop. <coughs> stop it. Get some help. Oh, this is awkward. Forces are under attack. 
Oh, you weren't supposed to find that. Nah. Oh, he's going to kill that. Speed is on the way. Oh, I mean, yeah, the base was only going to survive so long as he didn't scout it. Like, <laughs> it's what we refer to as a high risk, high reward play, which is also why we are now splitting the Overlord. He's got a lot of stairs. Didn't get plus one, though. All right, that's actually super unfortunate to lose all of them. I could have really done without that. There's a Templar. Dude, I have such a hard time on this map. I really do. There's a base over here that I'll take. All right. Come on. I need a base. I'm supply blocked. I didn't think he killed that much, but apparently he did. Sweet. Uh, did he have the space? This is important information. He does not. Uh. Was the opponent uh, attack actually?
All right. Send you out to scout. He doesn't need to know anything weird is happening. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's actually incredibly unfortunate that they were not there when I scouted and are there now. All forces are under attack. Can I get a Hydra in here? Come on, get the fuck out. Alright, that's fine. That pulled him home. He lost all of my overlords, but I also now know where his army is. Does he have this base? What's his upgrades? Oh, I didn't get to click it in time. Damn it. That's not great. <laughs> Dude, Zerglings are super good. Oh, of course. The moment I move all my fucking Hydras away. Classic. Yeah, the absolute fucking moment, you know? Every time. Fuck it. AFK tax. So this is really oversaturated. Okay, that's great for me if you want to storm your own boys like that. Oh, that's game. That's a hundred percent game. Does he have this base? I I need to be. Yeah, he's got it. He probably has the other main too. Well, I guess we're going Mr. 50-50 today in this group. I can at least feel better about killing these fucking Corsairs. Fuck those. All right. I don't care what it costs. The hive cluster is under attack. All right, so he's only on three bases, it looks like, still. Yeah, I know. I definitely... Macro is my weakest part of my game, by far. I've been supply blocked for fucking three hours now because of them. Nothing I can do. Nah, I, way too much. I mean, he he is genuinely just a better player than me. Like, I know I don't stand a chance against him. Uh, yeah, he is actually, like, yeah. 
Like, I think he's like 300 MMR above me, realistically. Like, I know I never stand a chance against him, so I don't even bother. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. All right. Let's crank through this group real quick. <coughs> We've got three more games, guys. Uh, let's see. What do we got? All right. Perfect. Uh, let's see here. Let me get this scoreboard set up. There we are. Uh, yeah. All right. On to casting. Let's let's do what I'm good at. Let me actually upload my replays too, real quick. Then I can't be yelled at. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, wait. That's group two. That's week two. I don't want week two. I want week three. All right. So, Lamb, I won. Choose file. That'd be this one. Save changes. In tech, I won. Wink. No one will know, right? There we are. All done. 50-50. Man. It's not the result we want, but it's the result we take. Uh. This week. All right. So that puts me at... um. So let's see, I'm at 3 and 1, 2 and 2, and 2 and 2. So that puts me at 5, uh, three, so 7 and 5. Yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. 7 to 5. All right. We take those around here. Honestly, not a bad, not a bad preseason run. I'll take um, positive plus two in my games. Mm, mm. See, sometimes you just you just gotta flex, right? Yeah, sure, I'm a caster, but every once in a while I step in the booth, I put on the gloves, and uh, uh, we make some magic happen. But now, back to the casting, back to what I do best. Because spawning here in the top left-hand side with the red SCVs, give it up for Havier. And his opponent in the bottom right, give it up for Armada. All right. What are you doing, Mr. Probe? Hmm, that seems like a very determined probe. Are we going to start this off with a with a little bit of uh, spice? So much spice, your average white person can't handle it? SCB does um, bully his way into the main. Oh, my God. Goon, shoot. Ah. I think it's sweet old time. All right. It looks like we will not be proxying. Maybe he considered it. And then he realized he's up against the Terran legend, Havier. And he went, hmm, let me think better of it. Honestly, that's that's what you should do. You should realize when you're up against greatness. Oop. Dives to see the command center, and it's how it's just starting. You don't, obviously, you can't see the exact time, but you can see the um, nice thing about Terran is it has building progress, like as you build it up. Vulture speed first. Interesting. Robo. Okay, okay. One gate Robo. We're playing Reavers, boys. We're going to have so many Reavers. We're going to be Reavering all over the place. My favorite part of TVP is when the Prodot says it's Reaven time and then Reaves all over the place. <coughs> uh, 
right? Because that's still a in, uh, relevant and interesting meme. All right. Speedy Vulture's coming on up here. He's um interesting. He's just building vultures. So he's going to zoom past the goon here. That's clearly the plan. All right? Yeah. Zoom, 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 zoom. Bye, bitch. All right, we do have a wall, though. We have two goons at home. So uh, these should just bounce out. Right? Oh, 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 Armada almost fucked up hard. <laughs> that was almost a big whoopsie. Mine's coming on up here. I mean, with nine mines on the other side of the map, you will be... You'll feel really good about yourself. Alright, we went straight into observatory. I guess he's going to play standard. I was really hoping that since he only had one gate, he would consider doing something funny, right? But, nah. Honorable macro Protoss is going to honorably macro. Honestly... It's disgusting. Get it out of my sight. I don't want to see any of that anymore. All right. And they're going to come over here, clean up the mines. Now you have confirmation the one. He's going to go for his third base. You know that he's got observers out. And generally, it just gives you a lot of knowing. And knowing is half the battle. The other half is the actual battle. It's kind of the more important half. Um, NG Bay? Negative. All right. Observer gets a free pass on in. Look at the mine coverage, though. We got him over here. We got him up here, down here. There's nothing in the actual middle. So we'll know if Protoss tries to expand in any direction, but we'll never know if they come across the map. Which is big ol' thumbs up. <laughs> Alright, siege mode is done. We'll be getting our scans. Citadel. Alright, and while not necessarily strictly gateway man, because... Oh, he's gonna drop the Stargate now. All right, so Templars before Stargate. Nice. I feel like usually a lot of people go Stargate before Templars, so this is a really interesting choice. <coughs> There's the NG Bay. Factory explosion coming on up here. All right, vultures trying to poke in here. They'll get rebound, reflected by the goons. Meanwhile, this probe is stuck for um, any particular reason. If we need to micro something, this is your boy. You got it. If you need to do a thing, call him. He's your boy. All right, a bunch of bouncing around. Uh, I guess now that I'm just back to casting, we can just do, uh, there we are. Might as well take care of that real quick. All right. <coughs> the ultimate standoff. Spider mine versus pylon. Oh, shit. We're in. Oh, no. These guys are just tasked with deleting probes. And oh boy, did they get that job done. They definitely deleted like 10 probes there. Like, yeah, that was good. 10 minute command center timing is what we're looking for here. And honestly, on Dark Origin, it's pretty doable. All right. <laughs> Whoops, this is awkward. <laughs> uh, 
That was funny. Alright, Protoss with a decent army and a shuttle. Never doubt a Protoss player with a shuttle. Arby's coming on up here. We've got the recalls. And there you go, third base, 10 minutes. What a Chad. You know, you hear you know, you hear the Terran say, Oh, I can't take it until 13, 14 minutes. They will just just play like cave here. Guys, just just play like cave here and you'll be fine. We have the meats. <laughs> Yo dog, I heard you like blue crystals. I'm glad they all looked at the probe and then just decided not to shoot. Oh, mines are doing mine things. Look at this incredible vulture micro. Get out of here, nerd. Silly nerdy Protoss. All right. And Terran just doing a good job of being out on the map. He's losing a lot of vultures, though. You got to be careful about that. If you lose too many vultures, you um yeah, you're kind of throwing the game. But yeah, you can lose a few, but it's a fine line. Yeah, 20 workers off is We could definitely have more workers considering we have 3 CC, but Yeah, Armada is just hit pro button, hit pro button, hit pro button. <coughs> All right. I don't think we've gotten any. Of the, I haven't seen any of the RV spells. I mean, it's not even four bases yet. This base is only just coming up. So for all intents and purposes, it's still a three base macro. Terran, though, the thing we got to give him credit for is having a third command center this early. You will always hear Terrence talk about, oh, how you have to take it by 15 minutes. Not, oh, you know, you can try and take it at 10, 11 minutes. No, you take it at like 14, usually. Like 13, 14 is like your average third base timing for Terran. He's like, yeah, 10 minutes, done. Doesn't, I would love to see him building more workers on the back of it, but. I mean, it's not bad. There it is, blue crystal coming away. All right, Protoss trying to do Protoss things. Bad news. All right, Protoss breaking on out here. Terran, of course, has vision of this. He also has vision up here. Or he's going to run in some vultures and deny this probe from doing anything. Love to see it. All right. Protoss looking for a better way around here. It's sharking around. Alright, we got a shuttle. We've got an RV with blue crystal. We're getting air attack. Yes, our arbiter. We need him to do 11 damage per shot. Let's go. Good blue crystal to start us off. Vultures up front though, ready to eat the um, zealots as they run in. Good crystal on the signs vessel. Oh, now you show up. Nice. All right, and there's just a lot of Protoss here. He's going to kind of wash over, but this tank line goes deep. Zealots are running out. And as long as this third base survives, uh, it's lifted, yes. But if it doesn't die, we are honestly not too bad off. Losing workers, bad. But keeping the CC alive is critical.
I, I do love the plus one. I assume that means he's going to go into carriers at some point, and he's just prepping. But at the same time, I like to think that he's just like, no, 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 my Arbiters can just do so much more damage. Hmm. All right, scan goes down. Protoss walks right into the scan. Ooh. Blue crystal. Oh, get out of here, nerd. Get EMP'd. Oh, no. That's bad. That's real bad. Losing the CC like that. That's, that's no bueno. That's no good. All right. More Arby's recall. Fourth base up and running. Fifth coming on up here. Yeah, Pro Armada is doing everything he needs to do right now, right? He's you know expanding continuously. He's poking in, trying to stop the Terran from getting a third base. He even killed it. All the mines here in case of any drops or recalls into the big area. Love to see it. All right. And I do think... I mean, look at this, though. Like, how do you kill this? 2-2 two, two, and just fucking miles of tanks versus just plus one. Plus one attack. It's all Protoss has. What would be best for Terran is if Protoss throws his army into this position again. Like, if Protoss tries to kill this one more time and takes an awful fight, I think um, Terran just counters and wins. I think that's the play here. I don't think Protoss will push into this, but should he choose to? Scan's going down, confirming. I think he even sees the probe transfer, confirming the bottom left. All right, you crazy son of a bitch. He's going to do it. Oh, EMP's going down. Third Arbiter will survive getting EMP'd, but only has 100 energy. Oh, yeah, this is what you love to see. Prodot's just donating supply. I don't think Terran's lost, like, anything. <laughs> Maybe, like, a couple supply. Prodot's, however, lost, like, 40. Oof. All right. It's time. Here comes more Stargate. More Stargate, more better. You know how it be. All right, where's the fleet beacon? That's the great question. Where's the fleet beacon? More factories coming on up here. Terran, insatiable production needs. Don't push across the bridge, my friend. Don't do it. He's doing it. There's a lot of Protoss on this side of the bridge. You got to be careful. Oh, he's going to wash over the volts. I mean, that does give tanks the time to siege up here, but... Oh! The crystal is good. Not good enough, though. And, I mean, Protoss goes back, does a macro cycle, and is ahead again. But you take out the 22... You take out the 30 supply of him just re-macroing. And they're, like, pretty even on what's on the field right now. Also, Terran extra production. I'd love to see an extra machine shop at this point. He's got a big old gas bank. We can have more tanks. Here come the blimps. All right. K 
carrier capacity coming up. Air armor, classic. There's just an arbiter chilling back here. He's just vibing. Oh, this is where we're rallying our arbiters now. Are we going to get like the campaign army where you have arbiters and carriers and you just like A move? And it's just like this big old fucking Protoss death ball of chaos. Like 10 carriers, 2 arbiters. Da -da 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 -da. Honestly, there's not a lot of goons to this army. There's only 8 goons in this army total. Um, that doesn't mean, obviously, it's a higher zealot concentration. Which, ooh, EMP goes down on the Templar. Nice. Doesn't hit all of them, but hits a few of them. Yep, see, like that one didn't get EMP'd. All right, 3-3 three, three Max is going to throw a rock at that Templar and crack him in the skull. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be the end of him. All right, Protoss taking this base in an absolute disrespect to Terran. Oh, my God. We have blimps coming up from everywhere. Bro, you need blimps? We got you. Blimps are us, baby. All right, he should, at this point, see Stargates and go, hmm, maybe I need more... Um, Oh my god, he just doesn't see the carriers. Alright. Vultures all over this base as well. Um, Havier's kind of like doing things. He just needs to worry about the carriers. He doesn't see them yet. And it shows. And that can be a huge issue. But, I mean, he's continuously knocking down Protoss. He's killing two bases. Pretty good, actually. Recall. Recall, good unit. Recall will stop the base from dying, at least. Alright, what's Protoss going to do? We're, what do we got? Four blimps? We got to have more than four. Right? Do we seriously only have four? Four carriers is not impressive. Like, four carries is a lot when you have zero Goliaths, but, like, realistically, four carriers is not too scary when you have four armor. All right, they have officially been revealed. The, these mines can see them at this point. Ooh, storm. Bridges are a trap. Don't use the bridges on this map, guys. They're a trap. All right, he's got one, 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 one. I guess. I don't know what the Goliath's doing, but I guess he's doing normal Goliath things because they are kind of stupid. Goliaths, like Canadians, they're not very intelligent. Yeah. Escalade's not even here; and he's catching strays. Oh my God! Oh my God! SCVs, you! Yo, love snow. Bruh. So many Goliaths are waiting. Havier's like, where are my Goliaths, brother? Ah. Uh, we are doing... This is a... Uh, we got a late night cast going here. CPL after dark has to happen. It's just, at this point, it's tradition. Even if you are not able to cast, it has to happen. So here I am at, you know, 1030 at night. 
staying up late, burning that midnight oil to make sure that you guys get the StarCraft you deserve. All right, there we are. Goliath has finally figured out how to get past a single SCV. Dude. Ah. As much as I joke, like, sure, am I going to be tired at work tomorrow? Yes. Do I really have anything to do tomorrow at work? No. So, like, am I, like, does it really matter, you know? Fuck it, I'll stay up late, talk some brood war with the boys. Like, shit. And then I accidentally get ad money in the end. Like, what? I'm getting paid for this? All 18 cents? Oh, yeah, if you're curious, by the way, about, like, what Twitch Turbo is, Twitch, um, I, I only think of this because I was looking at my statistics yesterday or today. And um, I had like 20 cents in ad revenue from a stream and five cents from Turbo. And I'm like, all right, well, I know that the amount of people who have Turbo in my chat is like one, maybe two. So it's, you know, for one tenth of my population, we're looking at um, um, a 20% of my income. So like Twitch Turbo is really good for creators, guys. If you're curious. And you don't have ads. Wink. Or you can just sub. Subbing directly is obviously the best way of supporting. Oh my god. Ad mo Twitch makes me play three minutes of ad or two minutes of ads an hour. And um Yeah, for twenty so for let me put it in perspective. I know a streamer that makes um that has like an average of like a thousand to fifteen hundred um, viewers, right? He's a StarCraft two caster, great guy, and he's talked about how um, his ad revenue for like a fifteen hundred person stream where he's casting a tournament, you know, he's got a thousand to you know upwards of maybe even eighteen hundred people. He's like, yeah, it's like an ads are like a hundred bucks for the day, and I'm like, dude, that's like six hours of casting to a thousand people. Well, I don't know if that's exact numbers, but that's, that kind of gives you an idea of what ad rev is like on Twitch. Twitch is dog shit when it comes to ad rev. I mean, I love you, Daddy Bezos, but, like, that's why subbing or just donating through stream element or um, through Ko-Fi, that's why that's why a lot of a lot of Twitch streamers push that, simply because there's, Twitch as a platform doesn't really want us to make money. While I would like to make money, I'm more in it for enjoying StarCraft more than anything else. If I get to sit here and watch Havier go to town on a Protoss and bring it back from the brink of death until all the units kind of glitch out. Oh, man. Havier's fighting, but Protoss is maxed, by the way, yeah. Like, he made it, he made something of it. He, it's absolutely over, but, like, look at this man. He's still killing bases the entire time. Like, good friggin' game. GG's indeed. And how long does Protoss stay in for? Ah, he just wanted to kill the bunker. Understandable. GG's. Oh, man. Havior, man. Havior delivers. I'm telling you. All right. So, this is totally off topic, but someone just replied to my message. And, um, so you don't need to know what this is. 
there's a um, there's a store in the south, like mostly Oklahoma. It's called Brahms, right? And um, this was on Halloween, so this was a couple days ago. My friend just replied to it, but it was uh, we took our cheeseburger back to Brahms where she was made. It's a kid's costume, right? This has a lot of implications, though. Where she was made has a lot of implications. And Brahms thought, yeah, that's a good thing to share on our story. <laughs> look, look. I... Nah. I think Brahms is incredible. But also, that definitely implies some things. <laughs> uh, also, does anyone want Brahms now? I do. Look, look, I'm not saying that doesn't have. I've worked in fast food before. I know that that happened, right? But, like, at the same time, it's like. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna hook up at Brahms, have a kid. And then go post like, hey, congr look at this, guys. My kid that I made at Brahms. <laughs> oh, my Lord. People are wild. Oklahoma's built different, my friends. If you thought Oklahoma wasn't built different, it is. Oh, sloth. Sloth, why? So sloth, I'm um if you're um is there is the school for Zergs Discord, which is where we do all the translations of street like all the translations of VODs and stuff from Korean to English. And so Sloth posted like, hey, everyone, we're trying to translate this VOD. And then like four channels down, hey everyone, we're trying to <laughs> uh, fucking translate this VOD. And I'm like, why? Why did you need to at everyone twice? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> All right, guys. We got two more games. Let's get into it. Cheers. True. Ah, I'm sure that there. I know that um, there's always looking for translators. Um, I. I think the Protoss people might be looking for him because I know Protoss has recently started translating, so I don't know what their setup is, but uh, that's Tech actually. I think uh, Techapu he, I don't know how to pronounce the last part of his name. AJPU, Ajapu, Techajapu. Yeah, I think he's leading the effort on Protoss translations. I don't know who's doing the Terran ones. Uh, I assume Jinjin's involved in that. And then Pro or for Zerg, it's Sloth. And um, we're currently using Maddox, who's a StarCraft 2 caster, and somebody else, and AI. We're, the, the goal is to like have it, like to run it through like an LLM or something, get a rough outline of what the translation is, and then have humans go back and just touch it up so that it's accurate. Because it saves them time and it's basically free money, and we can pay we can pay a little bit less, and they don't mind it because it's, we've already done like half the work with the AI. So, is it worst? Because I saw Tech talking about it a bunch, so I thought he might have been involved. Yeah, dude, Maddox is a cool dude. He um, I. I'm more worried about the pro uh, the Zerg VODs because I am a Zerg player. Not that I'll ever study them because I'm bad, but like as a Zerg player, I care about those. Yeah, worst though. Yeah, talk to worst. You guys talk to worst. He's cool. He worst is actually a really fun guy to talk to. I like him. But yeah, it was funny because I was on Twitter one day and Maddox was like, "Dude, everything just kind of went to hell." Like, I might have to sell my casting computer because, like, he lost his job. It was, like, having all these issues. And I was like, you know, Maddox, 
do you do translations? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, hang on a minute. You know, Sloth, I got a guy for you. And yeah, it apparently it's been like Sloth and Maddox just like hit it off. And Maddox is really enjoying doing the translations and Sloth's really enjoying the work he's putting out. Yeah. Maddox has had it. <laughs> It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. That describes Maddox's life, it feels like. The man rides the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. And he's still just a cool dude. I would love to actually get to talk to him like someday, like meet him at an event. At some point, I'm going to Korea for a um, an ASL. I haven't decided when. Hope I'm hoping next year if I can swing it. But if I do, I'm going to be like, yo, Maddox. Hit me up. We're going to hang out. I need to get some Korean barbecue with you. All right. Grab the scouting SCV. Nice. I also think if I do, if I um, do go to Korea, I want to set up a LAN event there. I want to talk to Tasteless and do a LAN in Korea. Because then I can say I did one in Korea. And then I can start aiming for all the continents. Then I'll host one in South America. I mean, we do have we have two planned this year. We have one in Canada and one in Chicago. So Montreal and Canada, uh, Montreal, Canada, and Chicago, Illinois are our current plans this year. Uh, both of them during the summer. Um, those are going to be open qualies. Like these are going to be like BSL level tournaments where it's like, all right, we're going to have open qualies. We're going to get the best of the best. It's a $1,500 prize pool. There's going to be stipends for players travel. That's the goal. So if, um, for the top eight, which will, the top eight will be done live. They will all get a X amount of money towards their travel. To show up in person and play. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to be good enough to play. But the idea is it's also going to be open to the public. It's going to be just general admission, too. So, I mean, you don't have to win your way in. You can also just come. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please come. <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> I can't afford to buy everyone's ticket. <laughs> but, yeah, the goal is to just have a great weekend of StarCraft twice. Yeah, so we're going to do one in Chicago and one in Montreal is the plan. Uh, Escalade is working on the one in Montreal. I'm re-hosting Chat Starland in Chicago. It was a great venue. The owner's a cool dude. Oh, yeah. I mean, the top eight are. Because we're looking at the one I'm really worried about is like Mihu. If Mihu like plays and um wins and shows up, I have to like I have heard about what you have to do to get someone like visas and shit in China. And I'm scared because I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> it's gonna be like, oh yeah, Mihu's gotta come. I'm like, oh shit, how like tell me everything I need to do right now to get you a visa. Because um for context, StarCraft 2, the current world champion is from China, Oliveira. And um, he's so he's from China. And there was um, DreamHack Summer in John Chopping, which is in Sweden. And apparently ESL was late or didn't pay the extra money to get him his visa on time. So he wasn't able to attend the tournament. And when you make it so the world champion can't attend your tournament, it's like, hmm. No, I don't want to. I don't want to be known for that. I don't want to be known as the guy who made it so B who or me who couldn't show up. You know. Uh, Montreal is going to be early summer. Uh, I don't know the exact date of that yet. Chicago is going to be the twenty fourth and twenty fifth of August. So it's going to be the last um, last weekend of August again. The weekend before Labor Day, I should say. All right, Carapace coming on up here. This is a pretty stock standard um, TVZ, so I don't think it's too bad that we're talking about lands and other events. 
my goal is to have marketing materials for the land um, in the next month or so because as soon as the new year hits, I want to start advertising the qualities because it's going to be like two months of StarCraft leading up to it. And it's going to be a lot of casting. I've done the math. It's like 70 hours of casting of online stuff. It's it's a it's a lot. I'm gonna have to take some Saturdays off of gigging to do basically back to back like, because the qualifiers are gonna be like an EU qualifier and an NA qualifier, and there's gonna be six. So there's gonna be six qualities. Top four of each quality um, qualifies. <laughs> Funny enough. All right, dive in there. With the mute is nice, but. Yeah, I, I want to see, I want to see like all of, like as many people try as they can. I want these qualities to be like twenty people tournaments each. Like, I want them to be massive, right? <laughs> Dude, dude, I don't know. I watch someone lurker rush at tier two, tier one, and then I do it at tier three and it fails. And I'm like, what the fuck? Havier is just built different, though. It's fine. Not better, but different. All right. Factory coming on up here. Zerg does have a third base over here. SCB is going to scout it, though. I like these scouting SCBs to see what's going on. Oh, man. I'm excited for Chicago. Chicago 2, Electric Boogaloo. It's only going to cost a lot of money. I run the numbers. It, if you're a numbers nerd like me, I'll, I'll admit I'm a bit of a numbers nerd. And I honestly don't mind this being public information, so I don't mind talking with you guys about it. But, like, all said and done, my expenses are, like, 17k per LAN. And it, it's funny, right? Because I, I grew up with um, a less than less than the amount that you would need to survive, generally speaking, right? My family wasn't exactly known for having money. And to look at it where I'm like, I'm going to spend what what up until like the last two years was my yearly salary or more in a summer <laughs> for my business. Like, what? <laughs> you know? Man, the world is a weird place, and I am so excited to be here. All right. Oh, oh, got him. Missile turret from downtown, baby. All right. Hey, you're playing SK Terran. It's not something I see him do very often. I don't think he usually does the full SK, but he's doing it. Greater Spire. Oh, my God. Someone did this earlier to him. We saw this happen earlier, and he got destroyed. I think it was Dex. Oh, I admittedly, that's already the plan. I, I think um, tickets are going to be 30 for the weekend, but I don't know for certain yet. That There's still a lot of things that aren't decided. There also will be the, ac the shirts will actually be there this time. So that's cool. By the way, if you want posters from the last land, I got them. We still got two more, guys. I highly recommend you buy them. Not because I need the money, but also because they're super cool and I really enjoy them. <laughs> I, think, I think they're like the coolest piece of merch that I got. And probably will have for quite some time. Uh, DM me on Discord. I, admittedly, I don't have like a shop face currently. It's mostly because I haven't taken the time to set it up because I'm lazy and busy. But yeah, just shoot me a message on Discord. I'll get you taken care of. And then I will give you proper channels to actually, you know, handle payments and stuff. But as for just like letting me know you're interested, shoot me a DM. All right. Greater Spire coming on up here. 
Greatest Spider's up. What am I talking about? God, sorry. I'm, my head is filled with land thoughts. All right, here we go. Guardian's gonna fly over an open area towards Marines. This is gonna end. This is gonna end well. Ooh, a devourer. That's cute. This is actually exactly what Dex did. Guardian, Guardian Hydra. Who's done this? Like, where is this coming from? Is this, like, something I've missed because I haven't watched ASL yet? Is this going to be my new build? Is this my new ZVT build? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> GG. Oh, my Lord. Guys, what a build. I, I need to I need to learn that apparently. Yeah, apparently that's just cracked. Alright. Uh All right, people are laughing because they're old. Yeah, no, he's playing Zerg, though. Love Snow. It's it's all the other Terrans that don't know how to do it. <laughs> Get out there and be a coach, Love Snow. Are we Coach Snow this season? Hell yeah. Ah. Uh, it's a Thursday night's a good night to be a little unhinged. Friday night, everyone's unhinged on Friday night. That's boring. Unhinged on a Thursday though. Oh, how's YouTube doing? My phone was like almost dead, so I haven't had time to actually watch the YouTube stream. Oh, not doing too bad actually. It's absolutely dead right now. No one's watching, but shit. It's actually done pretty well overall today. All right. Hell yeah. Multi streaming. It's a thing. You should all do it because then you have VODs straight on YouTube. <laughs> Thirsty Thursdays. Fuck yeah. Love Snow, let's be honest here. It still is your college days. <laughs> Seen the photos you post? <laughs> oh. Freshman year. Man, I think the best part about where I went to college is that it is... Um, oh, hello. Uh, never mind. I was going to skip... So... I usually skip ahead to like two minutes in a replay. If it's a longer one, right? If it's over like 15 minutes, I'll skip to like the two minute mark because it's like, all right, it's going to be a big macro game. I, you know, skip the part where they're just building workers and I'm not doing anything. Um, yeah, I'm glad I'm not in this one. Um, anyway, let's do some introductions. Spawning here in the top left hand side with the red probes. Give it up for Harry. With a gateway down here. And the owner of the natural, where that gateway is, and also having his gas stolen. Give it up for Havior. Come on, Terran, Terran believers in chat. <laughs> the SV scout does this, by the way. The SV just walks past and is like, the fuck? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I skipped to about here, saw this, and went, what the hell? What the hell? All right. This should be this should be a this should be fun. This should be absolutely fun. Bunker coming on up here. All right, zealots coming in. All right, marine just has to survive. Yeah. 
Oh, oop. All right, bunkers up. Not much we can do. Is actually going to target the simulator. This is a solid bunker spot. This protects everything but the friggin' supply depot. Uh, of course, we can also micro through the depot, so. Ooh, yep, send a zealot down here. Nice. Come on, cut him off. Oh, nice. Killing, killing one of the Marines is absolutely nice. All right, we've pulled the boys. We need our gas. Losing this much gas mining is unacceptable. Gate and core coming up at home. This is obviously going to be lost soon. He knows it. Oh, yes. Build something up here. Build a pylon. Drop the pylon. Come on. Oh, 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 get out of here, Protoss. Oh, Terrence. Terrence, rejoice. Teach him to steal your gas. All right, now we're building goons here. This is fine. These zealots are absolutely beat up. Uh, we need a goon, and we do need it now. Ooh, probe is still up here, by the way. He's returned. Look at it. Look at that goon. He has returned. And he's ready to pound some marines into the dirt. And Mr. Probe, what are you going to do up here? All right, CC on the high ground. All right, goon range. Protoss is just looking to expand. I mean, when you have Terran contained like this, you don't really need to worry, right? All right. Factory is going to come on up here. Oh, my lord. That's close. That's so close. Uh, missed chance. Get wrecked. All right. Probe comes back down here, sees what's going on. It's like, oh, this is nice. Oh, can you drop a manor pylon? Can we get one? No. We're going to hide behind. Hide in the depots. Put your probe, like, right here and build a pylon and jump over the minerals. I got you guys. I know Protosses don't know how to think, but I do. So I can give you ideas, Protoss. You just got to do them. Actually, hopping a probe there would have been super fun to see. Like You just like build the pylon, hop over, and then you run out. And then you die to the uh, the Marines over here, of course. But like he doesn't know that. How does Protoss have vision? Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. All right, Robo coming up here. Robo Bay. All right. Dude, the Dragoon. Protoss is a gateway to many abilities some would consider to be unnatural. Have you heard the tragedy of Darth Protoss the Wise? I thought not. It's not a tale the Terrans would tell you. Darth Protoss was a skilled StarCraft player. I'd actually need to think that through if I had any, if I needed any more than just that. I I can smell a copy pasta coming out of that. I need to just sit down and write it though. Academy coming on up here. He's gonna move down, try and take his natural. Double machine shop. Double the machine, twice the machine shop. Double the tanks.
Yeah, I've done a lot of improv in my day. I'm, I'm a drama club kid. I'm not going to even hide it. Uh, I've done a lot of improv in my day. But mostly I would just need to actually remember all the words to the tragedy. It's not, not, it's not a tale of the Jedi, I might tell you. Darth Plagueis was a, so powerful. He had the power to manipulate midichlorians, create life, manipulate the force. Yeah, I would have to actually, I haven't listened to that speech in so long. Ironic. He had the power to create life, but yet he could not save his own. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from the Jedi. Power overwhelming. Bloom, bloom. All right, look at this. Carefully keeping some some tanks up front, and then sending in some to help deal with this. Oh, oh my God. Oh come on, we could still land here and get a juicy shot. Oh, we could actually probably fuck up these tanks really good too. Oh, yeah, it's a great book, too. 100%. Oh, my God. That Reaver's got one health, basically. Only a Terran deals in absolutes. Actually, only a Protoss deals in absolutes. Yeah. Because obviously the Protoss are the Sith. Or are they? Or are the Protoss the good guys? Oh, shoot. Ad starting soon? Oh, no. I forgot to run ads. I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm going to run one minute of ads, but we shouldn't miss too much, hopefully. I'll narrate it if we do, I promise. That's true. No, but anyone can do force lightning now. Didn't you watch the sequels where Ray could just do force lightning by accident? You know, if you don't like ads, you could just subscribe. No, no, no. Ray Skywalker, guys. It's okay. She's Ray Skywalker. Didn't didn't you watch the movie? <laughs> I mean, it take, it's a new interesting take on Sith bloodlines, but, like, I don't think that's how the work. <laughs> that's not how the Force works. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is, but also it's not. Like, you're not naturally attuned to one side of the Force or the other because of your parents. You are just naturally attuned to the Force because of your parents. Like that's that's not how that works, Disney. You you don't just accidentally shoot lightning because your dad was Palpatine or your grandpa was Palpatine. Huh? Oh. You you could accidentally do force shit because your grandpa was a force sensitive, but you don't you don't naturally just get dark side stuff. Also, it would have been better if she killed Chewie. It's like. Disney has done two, like, whoa, second ship, bait and switches. And both of them have been bad. All right. So, obviously, we have the one during the Rise of Skywalker where Ray lighting the fucking ship and, yeah, destroys it. And she's like, oh, I think I killed Chewie. And then she didn't. And it's honestly just bad writing. But then you get um in Kenobi, there's a whole episode dedicated to we're screwed. We only have one ship. We c we have to make the most of it. And then immediately the next episode when Vader grabs the ship, oh surprise second ship. 
Ha <laughs> ha! Lol. It's like, no, what? You just invalidated the entire last episode to make this fucking like moment happen. Uh <laughs> Why is Kenobi such a bad show? All right. Terrence scanning the whole map with their uh, map hack ability. I mean, their scanner ability. Ugh. Sorry, I, I might have very strong feelings about Disney Star Wars. To be fair, and Star Wars as a whole. He sent this probe over here, and it's naturally going to try and pass through on the back end instead. Because Brood War moment. And so that base is never going up. Unless this is like the moment he decided to like grab it and tell it how to get there. I think it is. Yeah, he finally realized, oh, I got to shift click you, don't I? Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's a that's a great video. There's a, It actually reminds me of, there's a an old YouTuber that I used to watch. I don't watch him much anymore because I don't really like the direction he's taking his content. But uh, Eckhart's Ladder, he used to do battle breakdowns. Like, what would happen if, like, a Star Destroyer showed up in New York City? Like, how would the U.S. military fight it? Or, like, battle breakdowns. Like, you'd take the Battle of Hoth or, you know, um, the Battle of um, Adalon from Rebels or something. And break it down. Show you the ships. Show you the positioning. And, like, a top-down tactical view. And it was just some of my favorite content. He doesn't do it anymore. At least as far as I've seen. And it makes me really sad. Because I really love content like that. Which, I mean, Space Dock does cover a bit of that, but I haven't watched Space Dock in a hot minute either. But that's more on me. Alright, we got Zealots in one ship, Reavers in the other. We are ready to send it. And we're going to send it across the bridge and lose, aren't we? Chat, trust me. If you send it across the bridge, you lose. So... All right, Templar stuff coming up here. Arbiter Tribunal coming on up here. Yep, he hasn't figured out that he needs to mine this yet. Good work, Harry. <laughs> that mine chased him for three miles. Mine's like, come back. Come back. There's actually... Oh, this bunker's still full. I was going to say, there's like this opening here, but the bunker still has men in it. Man with gun waiting. Imagine being a Marine in a mech game, right? So you're holed up in this bunker, and, like, nothing's going to happen. Like, if anything happens, you've already lost. But, like, you're just sitting there. You're playing cards. Like, oh, the tank's got it. Shuffle them up again. That's so much Protoss. To be fair, they are both maxed out. Two for... Oh! He did, oh, he wants the hat trick. He gets the hat trick. Nice. Also, Protoss has every base on the map, basically, except this one. So, um, yeah. Protoss is starting to bank up those resources, getting those techs ready. So that way, as he starts trading out army, he can start transitioning. Oh, we're going to go three forge. Nice. All right. Protoss will politely let Terran across the bridge. Big mistake. You could have absolutely just won this game by holding that bridge. Said we're going to take a really sloppy fight here. Yeah, the Reavers are literally useless here. I don't really know where you're going to drop them, where they're going to do anything but die. I guess here. And then again, they both just immediately died, too. So, <laughs> maybe I'm vindicated. <laughs> maybe I'm right. I may be crazy. But I might just be the lunatic you're looking for. Just might be a lunatic you're looking for. Turn out the light. I know 
but you may be right. All right, Rodas said, "No, you're not getting that base. That's too much." All right, that was a cancel at least. So Havier will get that money back. Yep. Guys, before you play on a map, please, please take at least one time to like check it for any weird things like this. This also happens in Heartbreak Ridge, by the way. If you um uh, try and send workers to the um the linear third from your natural, your um workers will do this in the corners. And also, if you try and send them back from that base to your main or natural, they'll also try and path around that blocked area. So yeah, you'll run into the same issue. All right. Protoss has supply. I don't know where it is. I mean, to be fair, that's a lot of workers. He's got fucking 90 army supply versus Terran's 130. Terran might just walk across and win the game, actually. Like, um... I don't favor Protoss' position here at all. Oof. Eating mine hits. Not great. All right. We're pushing in. Templar shuttle ready. The storm machine. Storm mobile. All right, he figured it out. He mined it out. He got the probes in. Good. Um, yeah, I kind of worry that this is kind of where the game ends. Cool. EMP on two Templars. But little does he know, there's two more in the shuttle. All right. How are you going to dislodge Terran from this spot? Like, um, yeah. Yeah. Terran lives here now. Congrats. The only way, yeah, the only thing that could go wrong here is Terran not scouting this top base. If Terran doesn't scout this, it's a different game, but that probe will just confirm that there's something up here. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Harry. Oh! Comeback mechanic! Lol. What if I just recall? Jinjin Jin does not. Jinjin's Jin very upset for our boys. Yeah, no turrets, no mines. <laughs> Bye, main. All right, we do have four Templars in the shop. Well, that might at least eat one of those Templars. Ugh. Those Templars not doing great, but also the main base not doing great either. I like this goon that's just harassing the third base. My favorite one. No, they're busy. They're playing poker. All right, Protoss trying to push in here. This is um not going the greatest form. There is army here. I think um uh, yeah, we're trying to multitask and we're base trading at this point. Is the plan. The, tran the plan is just to base trade and hope that the adage of you never base trade a Terran holds true. Alright, the nice thing is for Havier is that he has a nice bank. He can rebuild it. He has the technology. Ooh. 
Look at all this space for redevelopment. It's kind of like bulldozing a side of a city so that way you can build a highway or something, right? We can't let old buildings stand in the way of new progress. Oh my god. This cell has got 13 kills. Fourteen kills. All right, yeah, we're gonna need some machine shops here, my friend. Tanks are um, very good and very important. All right, arbiter slips on past. Tank, unfortunately, not doing much. All right, Havier's going to take this base. I mean, supplies are dead even. All said and done, all right? Uh, supplies are even. Terran's up in workers. And honestly, being down army supply is fine when you have three choke point bridges and tanks. So, um, I think at the end of this, it's kind of Havier favored. Not entirely, but... As soon as these guys get to work, it'll be a little bit better. All right. Speed shuttles zooming around. Protoss is um realistically only on this one base. Uh, this has got a little bit left. Sure. This isn't mining yet. There's only a couple probes here. Honestly, all these bases are pretty thin. Oh. That would be why. That's hot. <laughs> Recall. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Zero APM ability. Right, guys? Is this where we whine about recall? Terran chat rises up and complains about recall. Yeah, kill that pylon. Let's go. And um, look at Protoss supply. It's in the absolute tanks. 100 supply to 98. Hey, Mick. How you doing? Yeah, this is, um... Alright. I get clean... That gets cleaned up. It's a little expensive, but it gets it... He gets it there in the end. Oh, here come the Marines. Finally, you guys asked for them earlier. No, they're here. Look at our boy. Look at him. He's so happy he shot down a fucking super ship. Man with gun. Coming back. Oh... Uh. Well, that's not great. Yeah, imagine being handed an assault rifle. Like someone hands you an AR and is like, hey, go shoot down that absolute, like that capital ship with it. And you're like, all right. Get, 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 get. Yeah, I got it, boys. <laughs> like the Arbiters are like the most respected thing in the Protoss culture. You have to remember, they're big. Like, they would be, like, they're the size of, like, probably scale-wise jetliners, at least. 
Imagine someone hands you an AR, like go shoot down like a like a jetliner. Like, no, that's not how that works. But yet Marines can gun down arbiters. What? NSA, no, I'm not advocating for trying to shoot down t aircrafts with a, <laughs> with a firearm. I would never advocate for that. That's not a good idea. Just so the NSA is clear. Sometimes you have to let them know. Yeah. What you need is you need those um, like anti-aircraft um, guns that, the, um, that um, the Navy has on their ships. That they put the little minions things on. The lock-on guys. You need some of those. Those will take down an aircraft. And the amount of times I've seen videos of people like just lock those onto civilian aircraft and just stare at them for a second and then change and like lock off. As someone who tr flies transatlantic a bunch, it's a little concerning. One of these days I'm going to be flying and someone's going to let the fucking like the intrusive thoughts win. All right, this base is mined out, which means Terran is on one base eco. Protoss. Yeah, Protoss not doing much better. They're gauze rifles, yeah, which are essentially rail guns. It's uh, yeah, gauze rifle. Like realistically, it's a powerful weapon. Like the scale of power in Star Starcraft is like. Slightly unreasonable. Oh, this is awkward. How you doing? Oh boy, here come the drops. Oh, followed by a recall? Oh, we don't have the energy for the recall. <laughs> Lol. Yo, Wraith got a kill. Whoa. I got a kill. And it wasn't even an air unit. I'm the best. Around. Ain't nothing ever gonna keep me down. Because I'm the best. Around. I'm so glad these tanks got fucking, what, 20, 30, 43 kills between them. Good work, boys. And for a game that could have been over like three times now, we're at the 30-minute mark. Yeah, so the two or three times that we said that this could definitely be over, it's definitely not. Yeah, it's a close one. That's for sure. It's a game. These guys are gaming for us. Oh, yeah. Especially when you're playing Terran. Because Terran's the easiest race to throw. Because it's the hardest race. Oh, my God. A recall on top of the army? Excuse me? Uh, but at this point, though, that was a terrible idea. Havior jumps up 60 supply. Holy crap, guys. Is he doing it? Protoss says, what if I counterattack? <laughs> Counteroffer. Counterattack. Oh, Razor's super good at trying to deny Arbiters, especially. All right. Oh, there's the storm. Oh, my God. The worker count's dropping. Precipitously. How often do you get to use that word? It's falling precipitously. That's one of my multi dollar words for sure. Pew 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 pew. Pew pew pew. Got him. All right. There's. An this tank is still going strong here. This tank is still going. 3-1 versus 2-2. Two, two. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well, this is a fight that the race can't win. What a win. One unit with an anti-air attack or two race? The answer might surprise you. As we kill this base, um, Protoss is going to be out of mining just about. Like, 
What are we talking here? 300 on the high end? And I mean, 19 SCVs is all you need if you're only mining on one base, really. Obviously, you'd like a couple more, but... Like, if Protoss is mining on zero bases, you know? And I, I do think Havier's done it. He's got the bank, too. He's up 50, 60 supply right now, especially as Protoss keeps trying to attack in. And I think... While the recalls destroyed the Terran main, he never actually, like... Killed the Terran. Oh, um, yeah, can we like micro this a little bit? Yo, with his last rock, he gets it. Cracked. Alright, we're making more Arby's here. We need the meat. We need the meat hopium. All right. And what do we do? We're just going to move around a bit, see what we can do. Havier is, um, yeah, he's still got that 70 supply lead. So the thing is, I still don't trust going over bridges. I don't care how big your army is comparatively. <laughs> uh, guys, plus three tanks are good. Plus three tanks are really good. All right, just come on. Check over here. Check over here. <laughs> Tasagi army for sure. Brother. All right, now he's finally looks over here. Protoss is trying to retake this, but it's going to cost him everything to do it. All right, you spot this. Yep. Send in the skeletons. Seeing as the bones come marching in. Again. You know, they need you very deep. Never ending. Are you ready? I'm finished making sense. All right. Yeah. And now at this point, we wait for fantasy to tap out. I mean, um, Harry. He's going to come down here, realize the space is being taken, and yeah, I think that's. I think anything. I mean, the last few minutes were definitely copium, but anything at this point is definitely copium. Oh, mines kill a Templar. Rip. The probes almost beat a Goliath. Probes are actually just good. Oh, that was a storm. Hey, I just canceled the command center. It doesn't matter. You are so far ahead. You can float over a command center. All right, let's teach you not the base trade of Terran. How about that? You might have a lot of buildings, but Terran has a lot of buildings and tanks. And, well, if there's anything that's really good at deleting buildings, it's tanks. Nah, this ain't it, Chief. I think he recognized that, ain't it? Oh. They just roll through here. Hey, if you're, they're stacked. At least siege. If you're going to kill them, you got to siege. So you can kill them with splash a little bit quicker. Oh, my God. Behavior. I swear to God. Hey, he looks back here. This should be the end. 
the end of the game as we know it. It's the end of the game as we know it all today. And I feel fine. G. Friggin' G. Hey, he killed them all. Holy hell. <laughs> GG. I mean, let's just look at this for a moment. Yeah, that says a lot right there, don't it? GG's. All right, friends. That is all I have. I'm, I'm very tired. I would like to go to bed now. I will see you all later. Um, you know what? Professional StarCraft 64 is going. Let, let's show that guy some love. That guy's cool. He is actually like, seems like a really cool dude. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all again very soon. And until next time. Keeping awesome.